play for, a lot bearing on it. Your worry back will be keen to cement a top three finish for the fourth straight year. Well, Simpson looking to back, go back into the final after missing last year. So it'll be interesting to see who Irrawarra Beak uh, send to the two big boys forward. I'm thinking Bryce McDonald will probably take one of them. Maybe Whether Mitch Gorn. Yeah, could, could do reckon, two. Pete? Yeah, Maybe. so he's he's played down back. Both of them, both of those key position players, are, would be a bit smaller than their opponent, so they'll have their hands full. But they're both pretty mobile. So if the ball hits the ground, I would think Bryce and. Um, and uh, Gaunty would uh, have the advantage if they can get the ball to the ground. Game's underway at the Western Oval. Thanks to Think Water. Birrigara, one, two, eight. Colac Imperials, one straight six in the mm. Sean O'Neill Cup. Ooh. There you go. So For Simpson. the Noah Allen Cup. Oh, yeah, no. that's right. He's having a darn good season, Noah Allen, too. So yeah, he's having a super season. Yeah. So every he time could win their best play. in Paris yeah. this year. He, you know, you'll be surprised to see him name bobbing up in the team of the year here in the CDFNL. So Simpson are breaking away from now huddle. They were in a huddle for... For a majority, a bit of time. So. Yeah, they were out early, Simpson, so they're uh, keyed up for this game today. So we'll get to see Jama against Slater in the ruck. So that will be a big challenge for Slater. What did uh, big uh, James Hughes get last week, AJ? Got a CDFNL live record? In 73, hit mate. Marshall oh. McDonald on the Den Siders podcast. He was, he's not happy about it, put it that way. Yeah, oh. well, he was the current leader. Yeah, I reckon Mark Jama could have a, another big afternoon. Might, might not get the 70, but I reckon he might crack the 50. Okay. Yeah, no, he won't get the 70. His conditions are too good for that many ball-ups. Yeah, right. So what's Bluey's injury at the moment? Uh, calf, I Calf, think. okay. Yeah, yeah, so well, the same as Peter Hickey. Yeah, oh. that's right. So Dave Robertson get, uh, holds the foot of your loss. So round 15, massive game. Tigers and the Bombers here. Plenty to play for for both these sides this afternoon. As expected, Jamel wins the first hit out. Ball pinging around early. Stevens just hacks the kick forward there. Good use of the body. In the end there, by they're taking the mark that time for Simpson there. they got a hand pass to Finney. Kicks towards centre half four. Ball off hands once again. Hawkins spills it out there. Here's a Jennings. Sweeps a hand pass over the top. Here's a top opportunity for Don over the first. And goes Wooshka! Tigers get the first in the opening 30 seconds. It's a goal of the day, contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. They got the ball moving quickly there, the Tigers, and one inside, 50 for one goal. How's that for a start? Yeah, one very clean. Nothing. Yeah, clean passage of play there. The uh, intercept mark at centre-half back there and uh, immediately played on, and they moved the ball beautifully forward and uh, easy goal in the end. That uh, Got to make the most of those op- opportunities, don't you? Good to see Jono Jennings get involved in the play in his 200th, Maxi. It was yep. Bo Clark that took that intercept mark. Beardy was talking about him in the yeah, pre-game. He used, his, he yeah. used his body really Jeez, well, He's a big he? unit yeah, centre-half back. Yeah. Big, big uh, Don. I know Chris from a full goal haul last week against the Western Eagles, and he's kick started at uh, today with a bang in the opening 30 seconds. Of so the, the battle of the sash rivalry round Simpson with the first, J Ma with the tap out. Here's a chance now for McVilly. They're going to go forward again. The oh, Tigers he's got the barrel. goes for the barrel, goes deep to the goal square. Fist fought there by Gort. Here's a chance now for John o. Jennings in game 200. Sells a bit of magic. Hand pass looking for a teammate there. Whoppers knocked off the ball. Chance oh. now. Snap oh, around the one. body. Another one. Jeepers. It's another goal to the Tigers. A West I think it was a salmon skitter. Goal of the day. Uh, I think it's Mitch Reid, is it? Is it? I thought it was number 14, but... It, Look, Mitch but Reed, a, I think. Yeah, yeah Mitch Reed. I Goal think. of the day, and Simpson, too, straight before you can even blink. Two minutes gone. Tigers are on fire. So bang, Jono Jennings, Pete. Bang, bang. A couple hey? of uh, hand, great handballs. Yeah, he look, he's, uh, he, he's up and about, so he's uh, certainly aware it's one of his milestone games, and he's uh, he's come ready to play because... Uh, He's a very exciting player when he uh, chooses to uh, have a have a real crack, doesn't he? He's yeah. a great player. Yeah. Mitchie, Mitchie yeah. Reid, second goal for the season. And the Tigers have started like a house on fire. Two goals in the opening two minutes of the contest. E- easy clearance too, so it'll be interesting if they can keep that up. Yeah, oh, that, and there, Jamar wins the tap down. Stevens come bursting his way through. Nearly hit Wilbur Kerr on the fall. Here you go the tie. Oh, the run of the umpire, Crow Kerr. Bomb was, was, probably wasn't on purpose. Inside 50 to go for the Bombers for the first time. Beautifully picked up by Hoy. 40 metres out. Kick looking for Grist. Gee, how was that for a pick up? And, they can, and it's been very, very wet and slippery out there. And Charlie Grist... Pretty much 25 to 30 metres out on a slight angle on this for the Bombers opening goal on the board. If you yeah, hurry, for a start. Yeah, well, if you hurry up and kick this, we would have got three goals in three the first minutes. three minutes. It's, in, oh. it's nuts. Well, last week, goals were really hard to come by at South. It's good to see West Big Sheds and Garages getting their pan of flesh <laughs> today, Maxi. That's right. <laughs> 33 so, goals for the season, Charlie Grist, closing on another 50-goal season.
almost a gimme for Charlie from here, you would think. Comes in from 25, and the Bombers get there first. How's that for a start to this game? Here at Simpson, goal of the day contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. We've had three goals in the opening three and a half minutes of the contest here. Two straight Simpson, one straight Eora back. Greg Allen, Farm Machinery scoreboard. What a start to this it contest. Is. So only three minutes gone and already you can see that Jomar's going to be an issue for um, yeah. Eora Biak. He's had his uh, tap three outs. outs. And, and they've been big hit outs, yeah, haven't they? Have. They've yep. really cleared the area. So... Uh, the inside mids of Irrawarra Biak haven't had a chance to get their hand on the ball. He's been hitting it straight over the top of them. So uh, they'll adjust to that as uh, as the game goes on. Think no quarter around the grounds. Lawn 3-2, 20 Apollo Bay. Yet the score in the Coastal Cup. So Jeepers. old man David Robertson, who's young. He's young, man. Tells me, <laughs> he's young. He tells me he's very young. He's going to throw the footy up. Still thinks he's 30 again. He's got a time about three times three of that. Here's Jamar, roves his own footy. Nick that Nui style. Kicks down the centre half forward. Chance for Leishman. No, it's going to be picked up here by Reed, a goal kicker earlier. Bangs inside the Ford 50. Oh, Caught. Almost a good almost. mark against Whopper Harding. He's wearing the long sleeves, but there's been a kick oh. out of there. Oh, it's been kicked. Lucky Hawkins. And Hawkins has kicked a ripper. Oh. That's another goal. What is happening? Oh, Jeepers. Goal of the contender. <laughs> A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. <laughs> We've gone five minutes for four goals. Simpson have got three. Eurowarra back have got one. It's a goal fest here at the Tiger Den. So it stopped raining rain and it's raining goals <laughs> oh, out here. Geez, and I reckon dreamers. inside 50, Simpson three for three goals. Eurowarra back one inside 50 for one, one goal. goal. Get it in, you'll kick one, son. Oh, oh. no, very open game and... Uh, Again, yeah, look, Pete, Jamar. Jamar again, yes. Uh, his own centre clearance. Uh, kick the ball in deep. And uh, when you kick the ball in quick and deep, dangerous um, signs for a I, I can't recall a game of CDF for a footy. A start of the game. Again, again. Go again. Jamar drives along the centre half forward. Hawkins is down there. Couldn't take it. Reed's lurching again. Just hacks the kick forward inside their 50 zone. Harding comes out there. Nothing more forward was Dinehoven. That's Nick. The opening goal kicker of the game. Well played. Gord come off his man. Sheds the ball over the line. Now to play. Boundary throw in. I can't, like I said, Pete, I can't not recall a game of no. City after a footy started like this. Yeah, Jamar having a real impact, Pete. He is, he is. And, uh, look, I think the uh, now that the weather's fined up a, a little bit and the ball's a bit drier, the height that uh, Simpson with Lockie Hawkins and the two other big boys down there, it's uh, really troubling the Irrawarra back defence. North Melbourne 19, Geelong 14 around the grounds, thanks to Thinkwater down in Tassie. Boundary throwing again. One down that time by Slater. Just paddles the ball outside defensive 50, but Ray tried to hack the kick forward, but couldn't quite come off. We'll get another boundary throw. Can in. you believe, Drew, it was going to be warmer in Hobart than in Tassie <laughs> no. than it is here today? <laughs> but it's actually, when the sun comes here, it's, here, it's actually quite yeah, nah, it is. Good. It's yeah. gone up about three or four degrees. So we're now in the pluses. Yeah. So we're now three degrees. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> throw it in again. One down that time by Slater. Goes to the defensive 50 again this time here. Kick long out of the pack by Dexter. Up towards the light half four, but all numbers down there with Simpson again. Finn, hand pass in toward to Darcy Leishman. Back it goes to Finn, put himself under pressure. Ball spilled out on this occasion. Hoy over the top of the ball. Ball pinned to him. We'll get a ball up here as well. Edge of the centre, square favour of the Bombers here. It's entertaining start to this contest. We're in a full goals kicked. And we've only played, what, nearly seven minutes in his opening turn. One down again by Jamar. De Jong, Leishman bubbed up the football here. Comes out again to Jamar. Hand pass, Mr. Target again. Coming through again, Hutchison. Hand pass, back at coast to Hoy. Hoy gets the kick up towards left half forward there. Good defensive work that time by Gillingham. Darcy Leishman mops up there. Hand pass was a bit hot for there from McVilly. Comes out to Eno now for the Bombers. Goes inside 50 with a kick. Here's a chance opportunity now with Howland. Got dispossessed. Coming through Finn. Got taken high on Pisces. Play on. Ball pinned to him. We'll get a ball up here. That 35 around from the bomber goal. Bit unfortunate there. Finn didn't uh, receive a free kick. Maybe earned one. Seven and a half gone in this opening quarter. Three goals the Tigers. One goal the Bombers. Battle of the Sash. Rivalry round. Hutchinson. I'm oh, sorry. It was uh, how it puts in a tackle. We another ball up on the 50 in favour of Irrawarra Bear. Kicking to the Caravan Park end of the ground. It's a big ground when you look down the other end, isn't it, Max? So yeah, it's Still huge. trying to work out who's on Garth. Jamar wins the tap out. De Jong runs over. It's a chance for Salmon. De Jong now picks up the football. Just bangs it from half back to centre wing. Good pick up here. Here's Hoy. He's been everywhere early. Backwards hand pass now. 
Here's a chance now again for Dexter. He's going to pick it up. His thought and hand passes to himself. He's going to run onto this ball. Great He's tackled tackle. there by the 200 gamer. Enjoy, oh, Jennings. Oh, no, Robbo. And Robbo said dangerous tackle, has he? I thought that was the perfect tackle. Oh, boy. That, that's a bit stiff. Thought now. Bangs the ball to centre half four. Looking for a teammate there. And, and uh, Jackson couldn't take it. Leishman. Darcy got the hand pass over top to Neil. He kicks it out of defence and he finds Jamar, who's had a huge start to this quarter. He kicks to the to the wing, grandstand side. Good work here by the Bombers. Here's Theodore. Hand pass over the top to Enor. Enor now kicks the centre half oh, forward. Geez. Wasn't a great kick. Chance in now for the Dukes, Neil. Picks up the ball at half back. Good tackle there by Gris. Oh. Leishman, Tyler Flanagan. Leishman got it over to Hookway. Hookway across half back, kicks to the middle of the ground. Reed takes the mark. Hand passes to Jaden Rook. Rook, good to see him back in the side. Kicks the centre half forward. Garth couldn't take the mark. Oh. Chance in now for the Tigers. They're still lurking. Here's Dinehoven. He's tackled by Richardson. And it's going to be a ball up. It is inside the Ford 50 for the Tigers. Ooh. Gee, this is a good game so far. Yeah, Stonehouse has got that matchup on Garth, Pete. Stonehouse, okay. Yeah. That wasn't one. Umpire throws it back up so inside the Ford 50 there. Here's a chance here for Dinehoven. He's tackled. And it'll be a ball up again for Simpson Ooh. in their Ford 50. So Elvie's jumped away. They're five goals to one in front of the Eagles. And I heard a rumour that Dom Dare may have hurt his knee on oh, Thursday night. No. Oh, he might be out for a little while. Yeah. Slater wins the tap out. Here goes the Thornton. Hair passes to Enor. Thornton gathers the football and gets another hair pass out. He keeps handballing to himself. He's a one-man machine because he <laughs> made it into Peter Mulheron's yeah, he, footy factory he, earlier. He's in for a uh, big, big day. I he think is. Now. He's the What's he on. on the stats now? Hey, he's Jay. five, two kicks, three handballs, yeah. Devcom stats. Oh. And all to himself, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, pretty I'll, much. I'll get the clubs to message me to uh, draft their players in ne- every week. And all wins the clearance up to right half forward. Good kick and finds Howlett. There's a two-man forward line here for Warren back, but decides to centre the ball to a dangerous spot. Well, he couldn't quite take the mark. Turnover. McVilly to Darcy Leishman here. The Tigers are coming at like all guns blazing here. Ball's gone to the wing. Good use of the body. That's on by De Jong. Gives it off by hand. Now it's time there to Leishman. Leishman kicks inside 50. Great kick to Jennings. In game 200, takes the mark again. That was quick bit of ball movement there again by Simpson. Yes, yeah. he's Absolutely. really turned back the clock, John O'Jennings, early, hasn't he? played on, 45 metres out, kicks towards oh, goal, mark hands. at the goal square. Hawkins plays on, and the Tigers have got another one. They've got four, and they're on fire here at the moment. Goal of the day, contender, he's got his second. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. They, they just can't miss the Tigers at the minute. They go no. to four straight 24. We played t- nearly 11 minutes in this opening quarter. He were a back, a one straight six. Greg Allen, Farm Machinery, scoreboard. This is incredible. Yeah, so strong mark there from Lockie Hawkins. And look, that's the advantage of having the, the other two big forwards there in, in Garth and Whopper because Lockie Hawkins has got the third defender. So um, The yeah. three players, Pete, J. Mark, Jennings, Hawkins. Yes. They're the ones yeah. that had Dominate. the impact. Yep. Dominating. What a start to this game for Sips. And they've got everything to play for. They've pretty much got nothing to lose from... Here on in between now and finals time. They happen to get there, but like I said, they'll need a bit of luck getting there. But this is a good start. Jamar, good tap down the to Tom Leishman. He couldn't quite take it cleanly. Rook can't do also. Taken away by Hoy for the Bombers. Kicks towards left half foot is Tyler Flanagan. The Marnie medalist marks about 60 metres from goal. He wants to give it off on the left foot. That's a good kick leaning for Jackson on the lead. Just couldn't quite get there. Likewise, Grist. Anderson there. Put the head up. He did really well. And he bangs it towards the centre of the ground. Coming out to meet it again was Jennings. He takes the mark and quick. Quickly wells up and plays on. Kicks towards right half forward once again. One on one, Hawkins is down there. Couldn't quite take the mark. Stanhart's there with him as well, but a free kick yeah, been picked okay. out. And it was going to go to, I think it's Hawkins again or Dinehoven. I think that's Hawkins, and he's matched up on Stanhart there. It's a bit of a mismatch, isn't it, when you're kicking deep into a marking player? Yeah, yeah I think it, it's it is Hawkins. Made he's already kicked two. He'll kick this from about 55. But this is a tough kick. He's got. Plays in the goal square, decides to thump it long. It's a big boom into right towards the goal line, but just off hands. Ball stayed in play until the time being. Boundary throw and a Simpson press once again, Pete. Yeah, look, uh, <laughs> Irrawarra back is really under the pump at the moment. They need to uh, steady things, just take possession of the ball and deny Simpson possession for a short time because... Uh, Forward entries are just uh, coming one after the other at the moment. 13 minutes gone, opening term. Simpson are four goals. You're all back at one goal. Take out of the rack by Jamer. He has a quick flying shot at goal. Ball off hands. Harding's down there. Likewise, Harding, uh, Rook, I should say. Coming through to Hoy, he lays a very, very strong tackle. Ball pin, I'd suspect. 
Jonathan Weir will get a ball up deep in the left foot pocket again for Simpson. have done all the attacking in this opening quarter. So Hoy's been busy early for Irrawarra Biak as well. Four on the Steph Cobb stat sheet, Pete. Yeah. Beautiful conditions now, considering what it was about an hour and a half ago. Jennings just paddles the ball forward. Looked like a throw from that for that instance. Anyway, ball spilled to the front again. Here's a chance for Salmon. Salmon kicks. Loft foot. It's coming back. Is it enough? No, it's not. Oh, Mark no. the goal square again. It's Garth. The cheat oh, train. Marks it 10 metres out and Simpson might have five on the board. This is extraordinary. Well, if you're Pete Mulherin, the J train. <laughs> the J train. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get cloaked over the last one. Get on one. the J train. Oh. Comes in from Garth. And the Tigers, believe it or not, have five straight. Goal that I contend, and they cannot miss at the moment. It's Tiger time. Always big sheds and garages. Goal of the day. Back in the side this weekend, the Tigers are off to an absolute fly. They're five straight thirty. You are a bath. Got some work to do early. They're one straight six. We played fourteen gone first quarter, Pete. Yeah, so last train I jumped on got derailed, <laughs> so I better be careful. Well, you got clanging today. Last time there's yeah. two sides played here, so you better be careful. <laughs> but uh, no fluffing oh. kicks today. <laughs> no, they're. Uh, you said uh, it better than uh, what Pete did then, Max. Uh, absolutely dominating uh, early in this game. They're just and up and about, aren't they? they are. You can that... see they're, uh, they're excited, they're celebrating yeah. their goals. They're um, doing the extra things too. Yeah. They're chasing, they're manning up. They're... I tell you, Max, it's starting to jama. Yeah. He's starting at Jamer. I told you, this is this, this is the this is the point. They can wing it out of the midfield. Yeah. Irawarra Biak has one of the best midfields in the competition. But if you don't have a prime, awesome ruck. Now Slater's a good battler, but yep. he's not. He's not a. What? How many games did Jamer play at Melbourne and Essendon? AJB? Oh, yeah. 80, 100? Don't know, he was don't all, know, all, all, you know? all Australian one year, I think. So, yeah, yeah, a lot. So, yeah. All Australian, was he? Yeah, I think he was. You have to Google that. Squad. Yeah. All right, Jamer wins again. the tap again. But it's going to come out to Flanagan. He's tackled by De Jong and it'll be a ball up. But even the forward pressure that, you know, we haven't seen from Simpson That's every right. time we play yep. him. It's, it's the there ground. today. It's a different Simpson side we're seeing out there today. Ran the grounds at Jelly Brand, all the way in south at two goals apiece. Jamar wins the tap out again forward and he's punching it like the 15, 20 metre mark. And here's a chance now again through Jennings. Tried to get the hand pass out. Swain's there as well. Good tackle. And they all sort of jump in and pile on, stacks on. And it'll be another ball up just outside the 50 for the Tigers, who lead five goals to one. Jeepers. We had four goals in the opening four minutes of this game. Quarter time at uh, Western Oval. It's 1 3 9 S- a pace. Slater won the tap out, but an advantage to Simpson through De Jong, who bangs it inside the Ford 50. Whopper couldn't take the mark. It's on ground level. He dives on it. Everyone jumps on him. Like it's some free Whopper burgers on the ground there. <laughs> They come out all empty-handed. It'll be a ball up in the right forward pocket. They kick into the cricket sheds, into the ground. That a magnificent bowling machine they've got in those sheds there. They brag about every summer. Here's a chance now for Hawkins. Picks, picks up the football kick, was smothered by Gaunt. It'll be another ball up. Quarter time at uh, Bloodstone Arena, Geelong 3-4-22, lead North Melbourne 3-1-19. Good game of footy there too. So some internet connection, uh, issues out at LV apparently, so oh, they might go. not get their uh, app going. But Fair enough. Mm. So Theodore kicks the ball forward, but it goes straight to De Jong. De Jong gets it over the top now to Rook. Rook kicks, hits the point post on the bounce, so it'll be a ball in right in the hot spot for the Tigers. They're just, they're just getting first to the ball. They well, are. I reckon yeah, Irwin Bank had gone inside 50 twice. Yeah. Yeah. Jackson had a, had a chance to mark it and he dropped it and then it's been all Simpson down there in. Jono! Here's a chance for Jono Jennings! Oh. Misses the lot. Still in play. Gaunt's there. Harding underneath or uh, right under his uh, hammer and it'll be a ball up in the left forward pocket. So the big midfield players haven't had, you know, Flanagan and Mitchie Thornton and whoever haven't had any influence much at all. Here's at the a moment, stat. Has Nick he? Harding has kicked a goal in every game this year but the last time these two sides played. Oh, Okay. Except the last time. Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. He's, he's normally has a good record against Hero Warrior back. So here's a chance now for Jamar. Got the hand pass over the top. And they go inside the oh, Ford 50 hello. the Tigers. Bouncing ball towards the goal square. Bit of pressure here. Oh. Are they going to concede? How uh, McDonald does. He rushes it through for a behind. The first blemish of the afternoon on the scorecard. It's Simpson 5 1, Hero Warrior back, one straight. So ball will be brought back into play, and it's gone to the back pocket area. Oh, another shocking nope. kick, and Gaunt's put himself under all sorts of pressure. Pies some good pressure, though. Simpson have got the forward pressure. is on today. Don't you worry about that. 
And they're going to lock it up inside their 50. We've got a bull up. It just can't do anything wrong at the moment. No, the Bombers. yeah, look, at just a poor kick there. And uh, otherwise, Irrawarra back would have been away. But, uh, yeah, they're just not giving them an inch at the moment, Simpson. Go around the ground shortly. Ball kicked towards full forward for Simpson there. But Gord getting back there. Just had a momentary fumble. Oh, <laughs> oh lucky he ran out of bounds because Harding was got him like a glove. We'll get a band re-throw in. And around the ground, thanks to think Water 2. Lawn 4 3 27. Apollo Bay 1 straight 6. Otway and South Colour 2 goals apiece. And Imps and Beery 1 3 9 apiece. So a couple of games of real level pegging. We've uh, been uh, stuck uh, over that cricket shed's ground for a while, haven't we? Elvie <laughs> and Eagles is 5 goals to 1. And the top has been dicked by Theodore. That's a ripper 2 up towards half forward. Free kick being picked out. And it's going to go Irrawarra BX way. So finally, some luck going with the Bombers way. And it's going to go, I think it's Howlett. So it's Josh Howlett. He's got the free kick here. He's got a player in short to the Barney medalist in Flanagan. So Flanagan now has it 60 metres out. He's going to kick it towards about 30 out. Cooper Stevens has knocked his way forward, but Jackson got to the front drop. Probably what he should have taken, but lays a very heavy tackle on gas. Oh, he should have taken yeah, that, should big, big opportunity there. They've got to grab those ones. Ooh, the inside 50s have been few and far between. Hey, it's and pretty dark next yeah, year. I was going to say, but that, that, lucky the weather Ash. doesn't come from that side. <laughs> Latin down to Ashes, boys. It's about to you-know-what down. JMR <laughs> takes it out of the ruck and just kicks it out of defensive 50. Got in front that time on this occasion. There was Gillingham. Locked, he locked it in. We'll get a ball up. Jeez, boys. He's going to it down. J-Mars bought his own footy today. Eight, you know. eight on the Stev Comp stat sheet. Pete, six kicks, two handballs. Plus his hit outs. Absolutely. Yeah, he'd be on Dream Team points in the city. And nope. he's going to get himself a free yeah. kick too because Slater pushed him in the back. So he's going to get another stuff a kick. And he's causing a back. All sorts of issues at the moment. And it's going to come back because Simpson were going to weigh up the other side. But looking at the back of the boy, box, boys, and bull boy. It doesn't, yeah, look, it doesn't good. look too good. But how good is this lead for Simpson, Drew? Yeah, dominating. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good call there, AJ, because uh, the goals are particularly this early in the game when it hasn't looked like rain. And they're very, very handy, particularly with... Uh, I don't think we'll get too many goals kicked for the rest of the day. So. Well, they had the countdown clock and it's gone to zero. Yeah. We've just gone to the oh, top. j oh, oh, was in the sight, but he got the hair pass over the top now to Finn and he finds Gas. So Gas at half back oh. decides to take on uh, Grist. He's going to go backwards and he finds a teammate in Finn. In the long sleeves. He kicks out a defensive 50. Not a good one. Jackson marks this one. He's kicked looking for Slater. Oh, well the work Hookway. there by Hookway. Good tackle there. There's a chance now against Flanagan. It was Tyler. Kick was smothered. Hookway got it over the top. The Jamar back to Hookway. Taps it forward. Looking for Darcy Leishman. He gets the hand pass out. It's been turned over. It was Thornton. Got the hand pass over the top now. Back to Marnie. Back to Thornton. Thornton centers the kick. Top Jamar. of the goal square. James R comes out to Green. Oh! High tackle. And he's head ripped off. The and old clothesline from And then the head got put back in for the free kick. <laughs> Summer slams next week. He better have said he put himself his name down for that. I said, stuff the lot of I'm taking his head off. <laughs> so Charlie Gris now. He's the only goal kicker for Illawarra right. Biak. And, uh, and he's going to go back for his second. Si- similar distance to his first goal. You yep. would uh, you'd almost mark this one down for Charlie. Doesn't miss too many. He's lights. directly in front, about 30 metres out from goal, kicking to the uh, caravan park end where it is a pretty black behind those trees. Whoa. So I feel like we get the weather from Cobden, though. Desperately yeah, needs his goal, goal, Maxie. It's only half an hour up the road, just under. So Charlie Gris directly in front in the battle of the sash for the red and black slash. slash. Goes back and he kicks it. the goal. So Irrawarri back at their second. Charlie Gris has kicked their only two goals. And the Bombers, the red sash, they lead, oh, they trail two straight 12. Simpson with the yellow slash, sash, 5 on 31. <laughs> Come on, Max, spit it out. I'm making myself a tongue twister when I shouldn't, should I? No. So, a, three goal, a three goal margin, I reckon Irrawarri back would be pretty pleased with that because they had been thoroughly outplayed so far in this quarter. And uh, to uh, if they can go in three goals down at quarter time, I reckon they'd almost take that at this stage. Yeah, there it comes, boys. The rains are here. Oh. Marge, yeah. the rains are here. Bocky Marnie did tell me it was going to rain all he day. Oh, he got, yeah. clanger, oh, the, he got go. clanger of the day last week. Yeah. So it wasn't he wasn't rain. happy about that. Oh, oh well, he, yeah. he can't get... Can't but who's get... leading his tipping cop, Oh, Maxie? me by a mile. <laughs> <laughs> and, and guess who tipped Port Adelaide last night? <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, call, me, call me AFL tipping Jesus, Pete. AFL, 7446 Western Eagles, 117. 13 apiece between Otway and Simpson and 9 apiece between... Imson Birigara. So back in the middle here as the rain starts to pu- tumble down. I was nearly going to say no, it's sunshine out the back it's there. Weird, it's weird, weird weather indeed. Tom Leishman got a kick off the ground. Goes up towards half forward. Stadat had a momentary fumble there, but applies some good pressure again. Well, he went himself a free kick. 
Yes, he will. He's going to win himself a free kick for holding the footy. Well played, Jacob Stannard. And he's going to win himself a free kick. Inside defensive 50 here with the rain coming down. With knew it was coming. Ball kicked towards centre wing. Uh, Hutchison had a three-on-one to beat there, but he had no chance. And Mark Jamer is on fire. Takes the mark, and he wants to go inboard. Kick is got the Cooper Stevens got over the top. Couldn't mark it. Good tackle on Salmon there, and the ball's not coming out. We'll get to get another ball so up I just here. got a message from Peter Lucas, who's in Cobden, watching yep. the footy, and he said he's absolutely bucketing down okay. there at the moment. Yeah, see, Abby Holmes did a Michael Roberts last uh, the other week on Triple M footy. He did, 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 uh, spit out the P word, believe it or not. <laughs> Here's Tom Leishman. He's well tackled. Would that be holding the footy? No. We'll the P ball. word is premierships, isn't it, Drew? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, she's standing in Geelong. Yeah, it's, nah, she, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she sets up and else. Ball thrown up again. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> Jay- Pete Mulherin. <laughs> Jamar's there. Stevens is there. Jamar's also there. McVilly applies some good pressure again. We'll Whenever I stump my toe on the corner of a table, I say, Pete, Pete Mulherin. <laughs> <laughs> so, ball will be thrown up here. Whether as long as my is. name comes to your mind in a moment of trauma, I'm happy. <laughs> ball thrown up here. As the rain falling. Not heavy, but it's uh, still persistent with rain. Here's Thornton. Good handle there to Swain off half-back. Kicks inside 50 again. Jackson's got off the chain there. Just didn't get the right bounce, unfortunately. Coming through Anderson while well played. Kicks long up towards the wing position. Anor's got front position there. The bot ball on the ball to come to him. Nice slash and pirouette. Go, just got pressured as he kicked. So the over was Marnie, but Darcy Leishman comes away. And he loads a massive top. Look at that go. Bang! Up towards right half forward. Good contest down oh. there. Well picked up again on this occasion. There, long kick by right up towards the half forward zone. Here's Whopper deep in the pocket, has a flying shot there. Oh, his opponent fell over there. Stone has a chance for Garf. He can keep the ball in. It's a sliding, it's sliding. Do whatever you can in these types of conditions. Jennings goes back outside 50. Bucket comes to De Jong. De Jong snapping ball inside 50 is not great. And coming in, taking the mark is Slater, and it's dropped about five degrees. Yes, yeah, that sun's disappeared, and it's now about to be Antarctic weather as Slater kicks out a defensive 50. Here's a chance now for Jackson. You just feel like your warrior backs got their mojo going again. It was Slater. Uh, Stannard couldn't get it. Here's a chance for Tyler Flanagan. Hand pass looking for Hutchinson. Couldn't gather the football. Simpson again, though. A little bit more hungrier. Here's a chance now for Finn, who sends the ball to centre half forward. It's going over the head now of Dion. But is there a downfield free or something? Or is a whistle going on? No, I yeah. think that's the netball, I think. Maybe. Or yeah. it could be the rain. It's pretty loud. <laughs> yeah. uh, Maybe a boundary thrown between centre win and half forward. Looking at the back of the box, I think it might yeah, be a passing in. shower, I reckon, boys. So. Oh, okay. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, look at that over there. You must be looking at Someone get Lockie Marnie's radar for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, boundary throwing. As you can see last week, Lockie Marnie, a great goal umpire who runs the best footy tipping competition, said there was going to be nothing on the radar. Yeah, it just rained about 90% of the afternoon. There's a siren. What a quarter by the Simpson Footy Club. They kicked five goals to two, and I reckon if this rain stays, it's going to be hard to buy goals. They're 5-1-31 at quarter time. Irrawarra back two straight 12. Lockie Hawkins has kicked two goals for the Tigers. Charlie Griss has kicked two goals for the Bombers. Rivalry round, battle of the sash. And at the moment, it's the yellow sash that he's winning. Stay tuned here on Mix FM. We'll have the Stefcom stats. Think we're around the grounds. And we're going to try and find ourselves. Ten minutes to get warm, boys. So stay safe. Home safe.
powered by KFC Colac, FSR Equip and Sports Power Colac. This is CDFNL Live. Yeah, what a start to this contest here. We had goals galore in the first five minutes and then we had a little bit of precipitation going on the ground, but it's eased off a little bit there. Not as bad as we thought. It was going to be about five to ten minutes ago. Good look. We've been absolutely teamed there, but at quarter time, a red hot start from the Tigers with plenty to play for. Their 5 one thirty-one to Iwara Biak. Two straight 12. Lockie Hawkins is the only multiple goal kicker on the ground with two kicking an absolute ripper from the boundary in the middle part of that opening term. Steph Comstats, AJ, and Mark Jamar is dominating. He certainly is, mate. Looking at the free kicks, three in that first term to Simpson, four to Irrawarra back, 15 hit outs to Big Jamar so far, seven to Dom Slater on the Irrawarra back side of things. Big Jamar, boys, he's uh, he's earning his money today. Seven kicks, four handballs, two marks in that first term. Eleven disposals. Couple on seven. Darcy Leachman, two kicks, five handballs, no marks. Also, John Jennings in his 200th. Three kicks, four handballs, and a couple of marks. On the Irrawarra back side of things, our boy Pete Mitchy Thornton, three kicks, five handballs, no marks. He's on eight disposals to quarter time. Six to Tommy Enola, four kicks, two handballs, and no marks. Those leading stats went us to quarter time. Thanks to Steph Com Drew. Thank you, AJ. Ran the grand. Thanks to Think Water. Elvia 7547, leader Western Eagles 117. Lawn 6339, leader Polar Bay 1 behind 1 point. Otway District 3119, lead South Colac 2113. Wow. And Imperials are 3422, lead Birigara 2315. Pete, thoughts yeah. on that first quarter? Oh, look, absolutely dominant start from um, Simpson, led by Jamar, who has been by far and away the the dominant player on the ground. The big forwards were uh, causing havoc down there for the uh, Irrawarra Biak defenders. But as the quarter went on, um, Irrawarra Biak steadied the ship a little bit. They had a couple of opportunities, actually, that they inside 50s. Yeah, that they Jackson didn't, dropped yeah, a couple did, of marks, did, didn't he? Didn't make the most of. So, look, uh, I reckon uh, the way that Simpson started, Irrawarra Biak probably wouldn't be too unhappy to be only three goals behind because they could have easily been six or seven goals behind. And uh, I think Irrawarra Biak are a good side at adapting to the yeah. games, aren't they? They've seemed to be slow starters at times, and then as the game gets going, their midfield starts to get Forget on top. It. So they wouldn't be too concerned unless the same thing happens in this quarter. Yep. Second quarter underway. Yeah, thank you, AJ. I just finished off me a bit of food there in the box during the quarter time break. It was very nice too. Free kick being picked out. So Cobden two points up at quarter time. Drewy, in not the, 21 to 19. In the Battle of the Bostocks Cup there at uh, Cobden today as Hoy takes the mark there. Gets a hand pass to Tyler Flanagan. Runs to 55. Thumps the kick long. It's going deep in the goal square. Oh, gee, almost there. Another metre or so. He probably would have gone very close. And it's full through for a behind. Yeah, first blemish on the scoreboard this afternoon. The 2-1-13 to the 5-1-31. To start the Dirawara back needed, though. They got a centre clearance, which Spot has on. been yep. uh, unusual for them so far. Darcy Leishman to take the kick in duties once again here. It looked like it was going to absolutely bucket down there, but the rain has sort of eased off here in the last 10 minutes. It looked like we're going to get a big downpour, but unfortunately not. Good mark by De Jong in traffic. Class over centre mark of the day. He quickly plows on up to centre wing. jamar has got butt position there. Good defensive work by Thornton. Dive over the top of the footy again. Jamar flat again. Thornton with a chain of handballs. They've got the mock cop this one up, have they? I think it's gone over the line now to play. Bandry throwing a minute into the second quarter. We'll keep it updated on what's going on around the grounds. Being on the AFL, Geelong a 5 5 35 lead. The Kangaroos 4 2 26. About halfway through the second quarter down in Tassie. So, Bandry throwing, center wind position here. Here's a chance out for the Tigers through De Jong. Just gets ball in the boot. Ball kicked inside the Ford 50. Dino over run, overruns it. Hawkins is lurking as well. He's kicked a couple in that second quarter. Big stacks on this one, and it'll be a ball up. I tell you what, talk about players that look like their old man. Lockie Hawkins looks exactly <laughs> like Big Neil. I was thinking, um, is it Peter Burgoyne's boy that plays at Port Adelaide last night? Chase, yeah, looks yeah. exactly and moves and has the socks up. And I was thinking, yeah, Lockie Hawkins looks exactly the same as his old man out there in that footy field. He's going to be a star, that kid. Reed's lurking. John O'Jenny's he's got the palm down to Dine over to kick. Looking for the G train. Couldn't take it. Whopper. Here's a chance for Whopper. Oh, oh, oh. He tried to kick a goal like a Matilda. He picks up the foot. Oh, 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 he likes the running goal. Oh. He kicked that. He pulled a Whopper out of his backside. It was a goal of the day at the contender. Oh, West Vic Sheds and Garages, goal of the day. He almost copped clangor of the day with that. I don't know. He, he tried trying. to kick it out of midair. Yeah. He tried to uh, kick the ball as it was handballed over to him. Tried to kick it in midair through for a goal. Uh, didn't get uh, proper connection, and uh, he followed in, went after the ball, and picked it up and kicked one over his shoulder. Oh, there you go. Yes. Oh. Jeepers. That was a ripper. That was. Oh, 
That was tiring to call. Yeah. 6 one thirty-seven <laughs> to 2 one thirteen. Simpson leading by four goals. Can they do anything wrong oh. today? So, Be- Beardy mentioned how good Whopper is on the ground. Yeah, yeah yep, that's always, one example of it. Always been one of his strengths as a big, big unit. And even when he was a bit bigger, he was still very good on ground level. That was the thing. If the ball hit the deck, Whopper was still a chance to kick a goal. So DeJong's a yeah, super important player for Simpson, isn't he? He's got that Five outside, three handball outside run and speed. Yep. He breaks the lines. Um, Anthony Stevens yeah. type player, I always yeah. thought, Bridget DeJong yeah. was. Not an elite midfielder, not a backman, just no. a guy that floats just around and does just the damage. runs and runs and breaks those lines. Yep. Yeah, so in his son, uh, Anthony Stevens' his kid is going to be a ripper too. Of course, River Bandle, Bob back in the middle again. It's all one road traffic there. Stevens, who's been quiet, kicks up towards centre half, forward there. Good defensive work by Darcy Leishman. Just punches the ball back towards centre wing. Coming through Stevens again. He got wrapped up in a strong tackle too, and he's a bit slow to get up. In fact, he's okay. De Jong, long kick up towards half, four. Jennings is there with Richardson. Game 200, Gamer couldn't bring it down. Stevens, hand pass was a bit intercepted that time there. By Salmon. Kicked a half forward under pressure. Was okay. Dine Hoven. Sort of scooped it out, really. Here's De Jong. Hand pass looking that time for Tom Leishman. Had a fumble. Swain mops up there for the Bombers. Stevens' kick was smothered. Dine Hoven. Inside 50 for Wampa. Good defensive work by Gorm. Sort of volleyball spiked it up towards the wing position. Harding kicked off the ground. He's going 20 metres backwards. Him and Hoy do battle there. <laughs> and he's kicked <laughs> off the ground. World was lurking. <laughs> 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 He got he kicked. <laughs> and you can see the smoke on his face. Kicked it, oh, kicked it straight to Hawkeye. Deliberate out of bounds. He kicked it to the That was team. deliberate every day of the week, umpire. Don't uh, you know the rules? You're in country footy when the umpire joins in with you, mate. <laughs> Did you see a smile on Wilbur's face? He kicked yeah. that twice towards the boundary going the opposite uh, way. You can't pay that, mate. Uh, boundary throw in. Leishman, that would have been stiff if you get paired delivered on a day like today. He's in this contest too. Reed, good admits to it, couldn't quite take the mark. Slater mops up for the bombs, but it's intercepted again by Leishman. That's Tom. Can he break the tackle? Yes, he can. Can't grow it out. Got the kick away just there on Flanagan. There, isn't that a juicy matchup? Stevens is there. Jamar is there. Coming through, running over the ball. That time was McVilly. Long kick by Hawkins inside 50. Jennings is underneath it with Richardson. Looking, coming through there. Garth Richardson. Well played. Good pressure being applied. Here's a chance for Stonehouse. Had a fumble under no real pressure whatsoever. Gets a hand pass over the top to Stannard. Had a momentary fumble. Handball to Richardson. Caught. Got the hand pass just in the nick of time. Simpson press again. Ray tried to hold it in inside 50 and I think he's going to get to that ball ball up while played. So Simpson Pete Stonehouse under no pressure but it was inferred pressure wasn't yes, it? Yes it was. It's a different Simpson we're seeing yeah. today. Oh, and that, that forward pressure um, that's what created that. that doubt. Five and a half. They're not the, sure what's coming. In the second quarter here, Simpson with a full goal lead. Here's a chance for Salmon. Kicks. Oh. Looking for the G train. No, oh, it's a touch to the umpire. G train continues on. Don Ivan punches it out of bounds. Boundary throwing. It's Fortunate there for... Um, left forward pocket for the Tigers. But he got a hand on that one because it uh, would yeah, have been a certain absolutely, goal. Absolutely. Six G-train. minutes gone in this second quarter. Simpson 6-1 leading New Warrior back. Two goals, one. Battle of the Sashes. Rivalry rounds. j won the tap out. Oh. Garth. Beautiful punch down to Leishman, oh. who kicks a behind. No, the oh, it's out on the full. Good effort. Yeah, was a good almost effort. Leashy like then. But that yeah. would, how about that with Garth? And they're just doing the one percentage, just those yeah. little taps that you can see that's happening with the Tigers, just creating something. It creates that inferred pressure. Bit of richness yeah. about it. Stannard. 17, <laughs> yeah. 18, He's ran a fair way too. He kicks along up to the woods. The wing killing him with courage. Hoy over oh, the top. Takes mark. a ribbon mark. Class half a centre mark of the day. They need plenty more of that than the Bombers there. They're under pressure at the moment. They're under siege. Hand pass to hell. It has to come up a long way from goal. And he has sprayed oh, it, it out of bounds out. on the full. Again, inferred pressure, Pete. Yep. Free kick yep. will go to Hookway. He, he wasn't under anywhere near as much pressure as he felt like he was there. This is unlike you or a back of what we've seen over the last couple of years too. Jennings has to compete though. Couldn't quite bring down the mark. He comes and picks up the football. Hand pass on the ground too. Oh, there's Slater and Ray collide there. And we come off Slater, come off second best. There was a fair contest too. Here's an opportunity with Hoy. He did well there. Chipping ball over the top is okay. And the mark being taken by Dexter. Goes over the top to Hoy. He's run hard there to receive the footy. He's under plenty of pressure. Did he get one high? No, he didn't, according to the umpire. And the umpire says, give it to me. And I'll throw it up once again here. About 65 around from the Tigers. Go, who are doing everything right so far in this contest. Yeah, you do feel like they're in control of the game at the moment. They haven't uh, put the margin on the scoreboard as yet. 
Coming through again, De Jong there, trying to break his way through the pack. He was away too, and if he got rid of it, but he's got one high in the process while picking the ball up. Well done. That's what you need to do on a day like today. And Brett De Jong wins himself a free kick, about two kicks from goal. He's going to go inside 50. Harding's in best position here again. Score! Oh, oh, almost! Couldn't quite bring down the mark. McDonald just hacks the kick forward out of the defensive 50 for the Bombers. De Jong punches it away from Stevens. He mops up. Hand pass to Theodore. He's also been pretty quiet. Kicks long up towards the wing. That's a good ball. That's okay, and Marnie's taking the mark at half back. They're just every time they're under under no pressure at all, they just cough the footy up. And that one's no exception. It's a beautiful spoil. Got a Simpson defence once again, and I think they might have been. I think they might have been Clark. I think we'll get a boundary throw in. Settling out of side with Simpson six one thirty seven. As you said, Pete, they're all over the. Yeah, at there's the uh, pressure for all over the ground, not just up forward. Two one thirteen. Eight minutes gone, second quarter. Jamar just grabs it out of the ruck. Got the hand pass over top to Gas. Kicks the centre half forward. Bounces Oy. away. Stannard tried to kick it off the ground. Chance here now for Hawkins. Good work here by McDonald. He gets knocked off the footy. I reckon he's going to get a free kick here. Bryce McDonald. Hang on. And there's going to be yeah, it's a booking, oh. a booking to, against Gallingham, is it? No, nah, it's on. I'll read. No, uh, it's... <laughs> To Mitchy Reid, he's going to get carded here, I reckon. Yeah, he, oh, he's he is book. too. He's in the book too. The yellow Didn't carded. See what happened there? Oh, well, he had his head down trying to collect the ball, and he, he sort of ran into the, his body. But okay. um, right. Wilbur saw it as yeah. something indiscreet. He's uh, look, I only, got, umpire. I got, I only got one view of it. Lucky so the I'll, game's getting filmed, Pete. Yeah, I'll trust uh, Mitchy Reid. I see he's Wilbur wearing his Cobden long sleeve yeah. underneath yeah. that yes. Simpson yeah. top. <laughs> it does a bit of a battle of the sash there. Yeah, that's right. So McDonald at half back. He's side trail by. 24 points here or about. Somehow they're still in a bit of a sniff, but the Tigers have just dominated this from the word go with the opening goal in the first 40 seconds of the match. So McDonald slams it on the boot, kicks down the guts. Chance for John o. Jennings. Hair pass now. Here's a chance now for Rook. He overruns it. So Gallingham's there as well, and it's going to be a ball up in the middle of... The ground, or edge of the centre square, towards the grandstand. Around the ground, I think water. LV 57, Eagles 7, Lawn 52, Apollo Bay 7, South Colac 27, Otway District 25, and Imps 29, Beery 15. Chance here now for the Tigers. Kick was smothered. Going forward. Here's Brock Neal. His kick. Going towards the boundary here. Dion. It's going to be a free kick, sorry. Good call. Free kick goes to the way to the Tigers. Gillingham's got the free kick. Uh, it's... Uh, I don't know who that is. That's Dine Hoven, I think. Oh, Dine Hoven. He kicks the oh. half forward whopper. Couldn't take the mark. No, he's been paid. He's going to be yeah. a free yeah. kick. Yeah, he's paid a mark. High, high, high contact. No, he yeah, wouldn't I have been paid the mark. He only had it for a second. Yeah. It's not Gary Ablett, the G, AJ. So, whopper. Oh, got distance, the free kick here. Distance won't be an issue. Um, he'll he'll kick from inside the 50. He'll belt this straight through the middle, Pete. Lock it in, Drew. Lock it in. Put your farm on the boat. <laughs> I don't have a farm. <laughs> so we better put He's going to have to quickly get one in a sec. <laughs> Come on, <he>? Nick. <laughs> Cut straight through the middle. He's trailing by five goals to Dom Dare in the Coleman race. He goes oh, back. Oh, coming back. Oh, oh, just goes through from behind. He does kick a fair few pointers to the old Whopper Harding. Simpson go to 6 2 38. Irrawarra back 2 1 13. Greg Allen Farm Machinery scoreboard. 11 minutes gone. In this second quarter here on Mix FM, your mon number one station for local footy. And again, we're seeing the uh, game played in Simpsons half of the ground, yeah, uh, as on, we Pete. did early. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so they haven't claimed a top five scalp for quite some time. Simpson and they're in a really good position to do so this afternoon. That's a no good oh. kick in. Neil with courage. Oh. Good mark. Class of a centre mark of the day. He's got players loose and Harding's one of them here. Deep in the right foot pocket at 35 in from goal, but he's about three to four in from the boundary. He so wasn't dropping that, was he, Pete? He's a, no, he wasn't. And he's a little bit closer in, but a little bit sharper angle. So, yeah. tough kick here for Whopper. No doubt he would have practised this for out of time. His career at Simpson here. Thwart him um, a take come spin. It's got across the face. It's not going to make the distance. Hookway coming from the side. Couldn't bring down the mark. McDonald just hacks the kick out of there. Coming through again. Eno, he's caught. Got dispossessed. Lucky. Oh, he's caught. Got the hand pass Ooh. away to Stevens. Luckily, yeah, three kick tackle, to the Bombers there. Tackle there. Massive let off. And live, live ladder sees him still in the top five. They lead by 13 points against yeah, Berriara. Thanks to Think Order. Short kick to Gord. He's going to go even wider to McDonald. He's got off the chain. Takes a bounce here. This is a rare out of defensive 50 entry. They're going to go up to half foot. Edo's down there. Well played in the end by Gillingham. Coming through there. Morrissey's been quiet. And that's a good strong tackle by Finn. Well done. 
bullpen will get a ball up here and it just can't do anything right here at the moment, the Bombers. So I don't think they're just adapted to the conditions enough, Pete. No, they just can't get the ball four to 50 to give their forwards any opportunities at all at exactly. the moment. Ball up here, Craig Kerr waiting for the Ruckman to arrive. Jamar beating that time by Slater, which is very unusual today. He probably should have got a free kick. Here's Gas. Hand pass went straight to the arms there. Well played by Dine Home and he was dispossessed. Good umpiring on a day like today. And the ball pinned to him. We'll get a ball up once again. Jamar's stats, AJ? Yeah, he's uh, on fire, boys. Seven kicks, six handballs, and about 23 hit outs. Whoa. Yeah, he's, uh, 50 to go, AJ. Yeah, I know. He's got a bit of work to do, that's for sure. Here's Tom Leishman. Just hacks the kick out of the congestion at the centre wing. Coming through there, Marnie. Well picked up. Hand pass in port to Swain. Oh. He's immediately wrapped up. Every opponent there is under elite pressure. Advantage is paid, which really was an advantage. De Jong just got the footy, got tackled. Ball pin will get a ball up. It was a free kick to Simpson. I think it was for holding the football. But yeah, went yeah. to Clark, took the advantage there. Yeah. Really. And that was a really no real advantage. Either. No, there wasn't. As it will be brought up and ball will be thrown up as I get it out. J Mark got front position. Ball's not going anywhere. We're going to get another ball up as the rain starts to fall here once again here at Simpson. Then quarters, Imps 4 4, Leading Berry 2 3, Otway 3 1, South 2 1, Lawn 6 3, Apollo Bay 1 1. So ball will be thrown up here. Going through to Gillingham. Well played through congestion. Kicks it to a centre half four position. Stannard with a good piece of body work and one to footy. And out of defensive 50 day go like multiple times in this quarter already. He just hacks the kick. He happily go out of bounds and they'll take it. But Stevens wants none of it. He starts to backtrack. Hand pass over the top that time there. The patch of Brown. Sorry. Brown standing ball and on them ball up towards half four. Looking for Grease. It's too wide. We're going to get a boundary throw. And Apologies. That's. Otway, four goals, two South Colac, five, three. Yeah. So G- Gilligan's, um seem to be winning a fair bit of possession for uh, Simpson at the moment. Yeah, he has yeah he's got there. a couple on the Stevcom stats, yeah. mate. J-Mar won the tap down again, and the ball's looking for the bounder again in front of Salmon and Hutchison, the captain and the youngster. And Cooper Stevens has been fairly quiet mm. on... Un- very unlike Cooper Stevens. Yeah, it is. Yeah, about uh, four kicks, five handballs, step yeah, stats, Pete. And yeah. they both haven't really had impact with the ball in hand, haven't they? No. Every time they've been under pressure. Yes. De Jong. Leishman didn't have the football. No free kick. De Jong, hair pass was okay to Dinehoven. Just that end and end ball up towards right half forward. But Swain will happy to see it go over, which it does. Bandry throwing. Pete, what can the Bombers need to do? Oh, they've got to get control around the ball there. Look, the strength of Virawara back is their super midfield and they haven't been able to have any influence on this game at all at the moment. It's all been played in Simpsons forward half 50 because they can't, cannot get the possessions. Jamo in the ruck. Slater got in front. One Jamo nearly took it out of the ruck. Here's Salmon. Air pass was a fumble there for Tom Leishman. Here's Salmon now mopping up. Kicks inside 50 there. Good use of the body boss. Done it, but he went to ground. Here's a chance for the Simpsons to put more paint on the scoreboard. McVilly. Flanagan tried to come his way through. Coming through now, Swain on defensive 50. He's going to play over the top and end all. He can get and go. He can pull the bounce for him, which it does. Sweeps a 30 meter handball to Morris. He's been quiet. He better be quick. Gets a hand pass back inside. Well trapped that time there by Dexter. Hand pass back to Eno. His kick was well smothered by Finn. Coming through again there was uh, McVilly. Hand pass by hand is Finn. Puts himself under pressure from Dexter. Swain trubbing up the footy again there too. Bit happening off the football here, yeah, boys. Yeah, high contact. Free kick will go to Dexter. Dexter yep. Yeah, no doubt about that one. They just got caught up in the position. Finn and, Finn and uh, Dexter yeah. just exchanging insurance details <laughs> for a couple of minutes then. And yeah. then uh, Finney just goes, nah, you can take the whole lot. <laughs> so X Dexter will take the free kick on centre wing. He's going to chip it over the top. And finds Daniel who can get and go here. This is a rare entry inside 50 for the quarter. Kicks inside 50. Ball through the back free kick. We'll go to Simpson for pushing the back. Yep. And against Cooper Stevens, trying to do everything. That was a better build up, but again, bad mistake inside defensive 50 as Clark gives us a give it up, but it's going to come back to him, though. Both Clark so and both again, Clark. we've seen Irrawarra back look like they're going to have a clean passage of play, but uh, the Simpson defenders just keep coming up at the ball carrier and eventually. Uh, Panic them into uh, turning the ball over. Clark got it to Darcy Leishman. Still in defensive 50 for the Tigers. 17 minutes gone in this second quarter. Simpson 6-2. It'll worry about 2-1. Offhand. Slater. Here's Theodore for the, t- for the Bombers. Leishman's on ground level. Big stack on this one. It's not coming out. Umpire's going to come in and ball it up. Oh, Sam and yeah, tempers are uh, getting a little bit frayed there at the moment. Yep, going to yeah. be a free kick. Robbo wasn't having anything of it. And it's going to be a free kick to Brad Salmon. Who kicks looking for Louis Dinehoven, takes a mark. So he's on 50 up against Richardson on the centre wing. Oh, Sorry, he's boy. kicked over. That was a shank off the boot. What was that? That was like a cake of soap. Oh, it was. Like the 
ball became a brick all of a sudden. Here's your chance for the Bombers. Through a teammate, through Howler. He kicks mark. and greased. Takes a big class over centre mark of the day. No, when the kick too, though. That was an absolute beauty. Put it in the book. Charlie Grist now puts it inside the 450. Jackson's lurking. Oh, Good mark by Hookway. Brilliant mark. Good yeah. slips mark with the arm in the mid out like a baseball grab then. Particularly in the conditions. That is an outstanding grab. So two ripper marks in the last two contests. Hookway got it over top to, to Tommy Leash when he kicks. Wasn't great. It's going to be turned over. Slater puts it back inside the Ford 50. And he finds a teammate on the re lead, and I think it's Cooper Stevens. It is. And, boy, they need a goal from this yeah. fella. He's going to go further. Need he a goal. Finds a teammate, and Paddy Marnie's taking it in the right forward pocket. He'll be kicking it pretty much from the cricket sheds. He's done the Matthew Lloyd. He's throwing the glass <laughs> up in the air, and uh, this is a desperately needed goal for uh, Irrawarra. The Bombers need a goal, and they need it now. 18 and a half gone in this quarter. They have not kicked a goal this term. Paddy Marnie, right forward pocket. 30 metres out. Loves it. Yeah. I reckon he's kicked it. He has. That is a big goal for Irrawarra Bear. Goal of the day, contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Paddy Marty kicks his first goal and Irrawarra Bear got a 3-1-19 on the Greg Allen Farm Machinery Scoreboard Simpson 6238. And we've gone 19 minutes on the Richardson Real Estate time clock here on Mix FM. Similar to the first quarter where um, Simpson have really had all the play, but they haven't put the margin on the scoreboard, and that goal to Irrawarra back leaves them within striking distance, and the rain's holding off here at the moment. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're not out of this game yet. They've got a lot of work to do, but they're not out of the game yet. Nearly half-time at Bloodstone Road and Hobart, Geelong up by 14 points over North Melbourne. There's been nearly half-time there, 6-5 to 4-3. Good game of footy there at the moment. Cats in control at this stage. Back in the middle here. One down again by Jamar. Coked up the ground by Tom Leishman. Just hacks the kick to about 35 out from goal. Oh, oh McDonald wow. was cleaned out by Harding, but he got a free kick by a high contact. He was yeah. a he was a little bit stiff there. I, I reckon you're right. Yeah, yeah, I reckon it was across more across the chest, but yeah. Um, Paul, I saw it. it was a bit it was a bit of an awkward position there because players there. But Richardson's taken the mark here. What can the Bombers do here before half time? Can they get back into this game? Good catch by Marnie. Players on with a handball to Hutchison. This is better. That's better. Mark taken by Jackson, but just outside fifty here. Too far out from there. He's got no real tools to kick to. Morris is the only one there. Likewise, Cooper Stevens. Simpson have flooded back now. Fancies his chances, I reckon, here, Pete Mulherrin. Yeah, he yeah, is a right. big kick of the footy, but you reckon, oh, and the geez. wind's sort of backing him a little bit, but uh, yeah. yeah no, this... He's having a real good go. Uh, oh, he's oh, hang, on, hang on, there's something going on off the ball. I didn't see what happened. It's a free kick to Simpson for. Oh. I didn't see why. It must have been something happening off the footy that Robbo okay. spotted, so I didn't see it. So a free kick will go to Anderson. So a shot on goal has co to cost him a big time here to the Bombers here. What can the Simpson do on the turnover? Here's De Jong. Thumps the kick long in towards the 50. Stannard and do battle, but oh, a good, good mark. Work. Well played by Stannard. Class half a set of market today. And he's just singling the guys. Let's just slow it up a little bit. Chipping over the top to Hutchison. Just just inside the field of play. That one's having a very good year. In his first full year of senior footy. Chipping ball over the top is all right. Finds Howlett. So what can the Bombers do here on the counter-attack? He's going to want the corridor, which he does. Oh, That's a risky off. ball. Did a clean ball to everybody there. Nita got away with it here. Here's Stevens. Hand pass backs it. Come down there to Richardson. Free kick as oh. uh, Cooper Stevens was dumped off the ball. And he's going to win himself a free kick against Jaden Rook. He's still smack bang in the centre of Simpson. Chipping ball over the top. So K. Finds Howlett. A bit too far out to score. He's 60 metres out. He's been told to play on here. So he weighs up the options here. Kicking ball. Not marked by Grish just. Numbers here and again with the Tigers. Jamer coming back there with Salmon. Well played by the captain. Kicks to the centre of the ground here. Good defensive work that time by Patch. Coming through again, Nick Dinehoven. Rook is there as well. Like a glove, Hutchison, but a free kick to Jade and uh, Tom Leishman, I should say. Well played. Got himself in front. What you need to do on a day like today. He quickly plays on. Kicks looking for Harding. He's got front position there. On Couldn't quite take the mark. Stannard there. Plus some good pressure. Might have got be a little bit unfortunate not to give away a free kick. Got away with one there, I reckon. I think uh, Whopper thought he was a bit unlucky there. Yeah, no. a bit unlucky on a couple of occasions yeah. there as well. Ball thrown up, 35 out from goal. Jennings paddles it forward. Richardson caught. Ball spilled out. And there it will be half time. A short quarter that one, 22 minutes, only a goal apiece between these two sides. But anybody in, in control of the game at the moment, but the Bombers worked their way back into it in the last five minutes. And it's still anybody's game at half time. But those Simpson Reed by 19 points there, 6 2 38. Leading Irrawarra Beck 3 1 19. 
Thoughts on the quarter there, Pete? It was a low-scoring quarter. Well, it was a low-scoring quarter, and to watch the game, you feel like Simpson should be about 40 points in front, don't you? And the yeah, the half dominated. Yeah. They have doubled the score, though. Yeah, but the margin's still only 19 yeah. points. And it's gettable, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Zero be come out and hit, um, get the first goal the next quarter, and it's a two-goal ball game, and uh, it's on for young and old. But, uh, so, oh, look, a very impressive, the best half of footy we've seen from Simpson uh, so far this yeah, year by, by, by a long way. Yes. And it's still Started with Mark Jamar in the centre. Yep. He's yep. shown all that uh, AFL experience, yep. hasn't he? Yep. He's just dominated. Not only has he winning the tip, tap, tap outs, he's, he's punching the ball a long way, clearing of the contest, and and is really uh, the Irrawarra back midfield has sort of been nullified by the fact that there's been no close in uh, ball for yep. them to contest. It's, yeah, it's been going to the outside all the time. Uh, their forward pressure at Simpson's been uh, outstanding, but the um, Irrawarra back defence has stood up pretty well, haven't it? With yeah. the, uh, in the conditions, yeah, in the conditions yeah. they've yeah. done McDonald a great job. McDonald and yeah. Richardson. Stannard, yeah. Um, yeah, so those those boys have done a really good job to keep Irrawarra back in the game at half time. Yeah. But uh, they cannot keep uh, holding the fort. The dam's going to burst if yeah. if the supply is similar to uh, next year. We'll quickly go around the games before we go to a break. Elvia 9 11 65, lead the Western Eagles 1 1 7. Lawn 8 4 52, lead Apollo Bay 2 2 14. South Carlick 5 3 33, lead Opway Districts 4 3 27. A good game there at Jellybrand and Carlick Imperials are 4 6 30, lead Berrigara 2 4 16. Back with the half time romp here from Simpson after the break with Simpson 6 2 38. Lead Illawarra back 31 9. So we'll get some netball scores too after the break as well. So stay tuned for plenty more here from Simpson.
powered by KFC Colac, FSR Equip and Sports Power Colac. This is CDFNL Live. Second half about to get underway here at Simpson. Can the Bombers contain their third spot? If they have to do so, they'll have to overcome a 19-point half-time deficit to do so against Simpson, who are fighting for their final spot. On the grounds with three games to go after today. The score here, if you just joined us at half time here with Simpson 6 2 38, lead Illawarra Biak 3 1 9. So we'll quickly go around the grounds. Thanks to Think Water Colleg, obviously Theodore, but I drew Goose South Colleg on the A grade netball. It was a good game going on the netball here between Simpson and Illawarra Biak. We'll keep you updated there. LV 9 11 65, day lead to Western Eagles 1 1 7. Lawn 9 4 58, lead Apollo Bay 2 3 15. South Colleg is 6 3 39, lead Otway Districts 4 3 27. And the Colleg Imperial is a 4 6 30, day lead at Birigara 2. 2 4 16. That is early in the third quarter. Must be bucketing down in colour because they haven't scored for a quarter uh, for the quarter either of those sides. In the GFL, of course, Colour can play Leopold tomorrow. St Albans up with 35 points on this wow. and two all. And we're not making it up. That is an actual fact. In the third quarter, about to get underway over in Hobart with Geelong up by 14 points over the Kangaroos. Big game for the Cats to try and keep into the top four, especially with Carton losing last night. So- Everyone's losing. It's just a very weird. Weird season. The only consistent part of the AFL season is Richmond. <laughs> oh, no, they play Collingwood tomorrow. Because they're consistently. Oh, 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 don't oh, say it, Maxie. No. <laughs> Jay Mar wins the tap out. Thank oh. you. And he got the first kick of the Sports Power Colour like third Jennings. quarter and finds John o. Jennings in game 200. He play, quick, quickly plays on. Kicks inside 50. Whoppers down there. Good. Got my taken by Wright. Got Mart up in a good tackle. Sort of threw it out to Hawkins. He has a flying shot at goal. Coming through again. Garth deep in the left foot pocket. Sides to dribble and throw. I think he might have got there. Oh. I think he's kicked the game. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. He's kicked it. And there's going to be a conference, though. It's Uh-oh. a goal. It's a goal. Uh-oh. It's a goal. Uh-oh. And they can take it. And one of the goals of the year by Jared Garth. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. That is an incredible goal for a big man in these conditions. And they pretty much kick-started what they did in the first quarter. It's They're 7-2-44. A- Bombers 3-1-19. Greg Allen Farm Machinery scoreboard. That's the goal today. A replay of uh, the first and the second quarters <laughs> where uh, Simpson had just jumped out of the blocks all of a sudden. 25-point lead. If the goal had went the other way, 13 points. And uh, Jamar grabbed yep. the other ruck, kicked yep. it, Pete. Bang. Bang. Away Bang. you go. Bang. That's and that, Simpson rested him for the last 10 minutes of that quarter. Uh, in the second, so he'd be nice and fresh too, Jamar. So expect a big next 10 minutes from him. And he oh, grabs it out of the ruck. Right on cue. Bangs at the centre. Oh, oh, Dwayne Hoven takes a big mark. Everything. Class over centre marker. They so, yeah, no, sorry, it's Mitchie Reed that's taking the mark. Mitchie right. And right, he puts it inside the Ford 50, looking for Whopper. Whopper Picker. picks it up on the volley. Oh. And he slips over. Gort just goes Wooshka, kicks it out of defence, and he finds Paddy Marnie. Yeah. They need to take a bit of a breath here. Irawari back. Hand pass over the top to Enor. He runs down the straight wing. He puts it into centre half forward. Neil's lurking. Oh, Jackson picks up the football. Hair passes the hoy. Hair passes the grist. He's got two. He's got his third. Oh, there we go. Great transition of the footy by Irrawarra Biak. They get the replying goal. That's a goal that a contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. So... It's like this first quarter, two minutes in, we've got a goal apiece. <laughs> yep. And this third quarter, 7 2, 44, Simpson, 4 1, 25. Irrawarra back, two minutes gone. Sports foul, Colac, third quarter. Richardson Real Estate time clock. Peter Mulheron standing to the right of me. It's uh, <laughs> the first time Irrawarra Biak's been able to transition from the back half to the forward half and uh, really make a count on the scoreboard. But that was just unfortunate for Whopper. He, uh, he picked it up really well. But he just went to and he just he, sort of lost his footing. Yeah, he lost he? his footing and down he went and the ball spilled free and uh, bang, away it went. And a clean entry down the other end and Charlie Grist doesn't miss goals from there. Three goals for the afternoon out of the four for Charlie Grist. That's not a bad return. Back in the middle here, back to what it was at halftime, 19 points. What can the Bombers do out of the centre? Not very much, I don't think. Flanagan comes, paddles the ball forward, goes up towards the edge of the square. Hoy's been impressive, couldn't quite take it on this occasion. Thornton liked that there as well. And it's got no over coming out. We're going to get a ball up here. Looking at the outside box, boys. Not to look too bad. It's a few blue scores. I don't care what it looks like. That's what I'm feeling right yeah, now. Yeah. And I'm feeling nothing in my hands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> J-Mar's just doing what he likes. Oh, he's in the yeah. ruck, isn't he? Absolutely. He grabbed it out again. And he's grabbed it out again. And he's banged it towards half forward. And here's John O'Jennings in game two. He just got into it just in the nick of time. But well done, Swain. Class half a set of mark of the day. He quickly dishes it off to Theodore. Theodore's kick up towards the wing 
give her in. Oh, he's been good. Better come off his man. Well done, Hawkeway and Enor. Good contest. Swain just barging her in. Got one high, surely. Umpire missed it somehow. Ball pin will get a ball up. That was a high take. We've ever seen one, Pete. Uh, yeah, he looked a bit unfortunate there, the young fella. He did indeed. He might He's have, taken the wind out of him too, yeah, I think. should have got a free kick, but Robertson and Kerr didn't see it. So the ball will be thrown up here, here. What can the Bombers do? Can they get two in a row? Jamar wins the tap. Salmon. Stevens. His kick was smothered by McVillie. Caught the stinger or two. Here comes Clark. He's intercepted the footage. He's a big man too. And his thumps the kick out wall. Looking for De Jong. Good defensive whack that time there by Brown. B-R-O-W-N. Good contest between those two. Brown got himself in front. <laughs> have to do like Peter Hickey does. Comes in to chance for Thornton. Picks up the football there. He's immediately tackled. Ball spills to ground. Ball spills out this time. Here's a chance for Stevens. Runs to 55. Goes to full forward there. Jackson was held, I reckon, but well done, Clark. Intercept and takes a really good mark. Class over centre mark of the day in the last line of defence. He's got options up further afield. He's got Leishman and Gas short. And he's going to go the further option. And it'll work just, I think, it will. And Darcy Leishman takes the mark as he closes in on 200 senior games at Simpson. Ribbon fella too. And he goes long up the line. Jamar in breast position gets Howler. Oh, too weak, too geez. strong. Takes a class harvest centre mark of the day. He's got the ball right in front of their broadcast position here at Simpson with the rain eased off. Long kick up towards the wing. Hawkins has to compete at this there. Got mitts to it. Couldn't quite take it. He's mops up again this time. He's wrapped up by three Spiderman players. Smack bang right in front of the stands here. Good credit in Blaven the elements here this afternoon. Be thrown up. Say at the margin. Same as what it was at half time at 19 points in the Tigers' yeah, favour. Throw in right in front of Bar 13 here at Simpson. Here comes Tyler Flanagan. Hand pass intercepted. Chancy now for uh, McVillie. Kick was smothered, but still in the distance. Went to Finn. Finn now kicks the centre half forward. Uh, Stannard tried to take the mark. Tries to gather for the second options. He got it on the third. Got the ball on boot. He kicks and he finds Tyler Flanagan. Flanagan starting to come, come into this oh, game here, Flanagan. No. His kick wasn't good. Jamar falls onto the ground. Gillingham's there. Hoy's got the football. Good tackle there by Gillingham. Stolen by Finn. Finn now kicks. Goes to the centre half for Jono Jennings. Got a couple to beat. Couldn't take the mark. Mitchie Wright gets the hair pass out. Back to Jono Jennings. He gathers the football. Good tackle there by Stannard. And it's gone out of bounds. And it'll be a boundary throw in. Ooh. So it's turned into an arm wrestle the last couple of minutes. It so uh, it'll be interesting to see who comes out control. It feels yeah. like Irawarra backs midfield starting to get on yes, top a little does, bit, aren't yeah. they? They're starting to read Jamar a little bit. That's what they're... Well, they're a very good midfield. One of the best in the competition. So you're expecting them to come flaring. But here, here comes Jamar. Grab, grabs it out of the ruck. Snaps on the ball on the boot. Looking for the G-train. Couldn't take the slips catch mark. Oh, yeah. It's gone out of bounds. Yeah, Jamar. He's not happy yeah, with not, Howlett. Not happy at all with Howlett. Yeah, not happy about well, it's up in there. Oh, I think he gave him a late bump after he kicked the ball and um, Mark. Jamar took offence to that. Yeah. Tigers leading by 19, 44 to 25. One goal apiece in this premiership quarter, as the oldies used to like to call it, but we call it the Sports Power third quarter here on Mix FM's. Bit of a yo yo. Comes out now to uh, Jamar. Snaps out of this stoppage. Harding couldn't take the mark. Oh. Old Cheeseburger Harding. Oh. It's going to be rushed through for a behind or Hamburger Harding. Rush through 7 3 45 Simpson, 4 1 25 Euro back. It's a 20 point ball game. Simpson leading this one. As Richardson just thumps it out of their defensive 50. Good mark intercept by Gas, who's on his gas, and he sends it inside the Ford 50. Jennings couldn't take the mark. Here's, it was Hawkins. Hair pass back to Jennings. Kicked off the ground by the G train. Almost marked there by Dinehoven, but in the last line of defence, Marnie got it over the top oh, now. Well done, Good Patch. chance here by Patch, who sends the ball out of defensive 50. Gris couldn't take the mark, and I reckon he's given away, or he's going to get the yeah. free kick, he's given it away to yeah. gas in the middle of the ground for the Tigers. Goes over the top to Tom Leishman. He gives it a high hand again to Brock Neal, playing a bit more half back today. That's a good kick looking that time for Dinehoven, but he went to ground just there, slipped over there. Here's a chance for Swain. He goes over the top and finds Brown. Brown now has it there between halfback and wing for the Bombers here. They need the next goal. Kick looking for a two on Marnie. Got over the top of Rook. Put the ball to ground, but still in the with the Tigers again. Neil. Neil goes over the top. That one's one of his better kicks. Normally a good ball user by foot. Here's a chance that time there. Flooding goes away. Hard. Free kick against a go to De Jong. He's got a free kick here, Brenton De Jong. He's been super again this afternoon. And he's going to thump the kick to F40 from goal. Stayed out there in the hole. Did really well. He knew well, everyone was coming. Swain on, on this occasion. Throw being paid. Advantage paid. Goal, Simpson. Oh. 
Goal kick by Mitchie Wright. And the Tigers get one back. It's a goal of the day contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Gee, that's a good goal, that one there. Yeah. Good for pressure again. And they just got all the answers to do the Tigers at the moment. They go to 8 3 51. The Bombers are 4 1 25. Margin out to a game higher, 26 points. Right where a good small forward should be, front and square. Received the handball outside of the boot. It was a very clever goal and um, steadied the ship for Simpson because you just felt a little bit like they were starting to be under a little pr- bit of pressure the there. The thing about Jamar, Pete, if the, if the opposition reads his hit out, he just grabs it and yes. hits it. Well, so it live matter. ladder, boys. Imps are still in the five. They lead 7 8 50 to Birriara 2 5 17. But the lookout is Otway 6 4 40. Mm-hmm. South Collac 7 3 45. Thick one around the ground. That's Mitch Wright's first goal for the year as well. All right, back in the middle. Jamar wins the tap out, he just punches the ball 20 metres forward, Leishman picks it up Leishy like, kicks it to centre half forward but McDonald takes the mark, gathers it from half back, he sends the ball to centre in thought, oh, couldn't take the mark, no, Dion I stole it, he's tackled good chance here by the Tigers, here's Leishman directs where he wants to take it oh, and kick. there is a free, free kick. kick, it's going to go to Simpson. De Jong I think yeah, anyway De Jong. so De Jong gets it back to Leishman it was tackled just as he kicked it by Theodore, got it to about 20 metres forward Stannard pleading for a free kick. Here's Salmon again. He's tackled. Hoy's there as well. He's tackled. He's on the other side of the ground. It's going to no, it's going to be still going. Robbo's let not play on, guys. Yeah, let you it's gone forward for the for the Tigers. But Stannard with the footy kicks from half back to the middle of the ground. Big chance here. Anderson though beats the one on one against Hallett. Sends oh. it up high. Hutchinson couldn't take the mark. Here's Tyler Flanagan through traffic. Good dance moves. Got it over top to Will Hoy. Hoy kicks now inside the forward 50 looking for a teammate there. Chris couldn't take it. Oh, Good work. Oh, go. By Bo Clark. Go Bullseye. Through traffic, oh. but his kick was a shocker. And it went straight to Tyler Flanagan, the Marnie man. Scheisenhausen kicks. So boy. Flanagan now kicks forward. Looking for a teammate there in Jackson. And Leishman jumps on his back, and it'll be a ball up between centre win and half forward. Favouring Irrawarra back right near our commentary position here. Just can't do anything. Simpson. Gee, Tom Jackson, he's had no hope where the ball's moved. Yeah, look, it was, today. Yeah, just short of him. No no chance to get the mark. Slater here. wins the oh. tap out. Here comes Hoy. Hoy got the hand pass to Slater, who kicks it inside the 450. Oh, oh. Chris! Oh, it looked I like it was going to be I thought him in the face. <laughs> Hit him smack bang on the fo- nose, but he <laughs> was able to take the mark. Christy. And he's going to have to go back and kick oh. this under duress because it is cold and a football to the nose no, on a day like not. today. Yeah, it's like he, he, he's, he, he's the one Ford who's uh, actually done really well for yeah, so this will, today. This will be his third if he no, kicks fourth. this. He's got fourth. three yeah, so he's far got today. Three. Yeah. Well, there you go. This is a big, big shot for goal. A little bit further out than his other shots. He'll kick it um, right on the 50. Slight angle. He goes back. He's kick. It's gone to the right. It's three from behind. They go to 4-2-26. Simpson. Oh, wait, 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 whoa. Okay, right, Simpson just going to... No, it's oh. marked it as a goal. Yeah, oh, no. a Simpson goal <laughs> on the scoreboard. Dave, Dave Wheel just gives a thumbs up to the box here. It was his 200th game there today. He got yeah. chair lifted. Yeah. The poor blokes had to lift him. Neil. Oh, <laughs> Neil kicks long up towards the half-back zone there. Flanagan coming from the side. Couldn't bring in the mark. Here's De Jong, who's been superb. Also, his captain and Salmon just hacks the kick forward up towards centre wing into bouncing footy. And we'll get a boundary throw in here to take place. Smack bang on the scoreboard. They've added Simpson to goal. Is that right? Yeah, uh, no, it's not right. They put it the wrong way around. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to say it's goal to Simpson. A, three, <laughs> four, two. <laughs> <laughs> at least the main thing is not at the Western Oval. They've uh, the, spon- get... the sponsors did get a free ad though. Yeah, they did indeed. They'll be pretty. <laughs> happy. Big sheds and garages, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the Simpson Geelong goal. by 23 points in Hobart. So Geelong will certainly help their top four aspirations here as well. So boundary throw in the take place. 7 8 plays 4 3. Jamar in the ruck again. Wants to tap down easily to Salmon. Just hacks to kick long up to set a half four. Pack of players running the footy. Raid back on the green after his little bit of an indiscretion in the second quarter. He lies some really good pressure once again. There's about 20 players running the footy. That's come out to Hawkins. He hacks to kick long. Garth underneath this one. Just bounced off his chest, nearly marked. Here's a chance for Reid. His kick was slightly smothered again. Oh, good, solid, solid work once again there by the Simpson forwards. A Swain thumps the kick out of there. Out towards the wing position. Well done, Gillingham. Nice bit of style of foot candy too. 
Flanagan's there. Theodore's been quiet. He hand passed away to Enel, who certainly tried and hasn't lost any admirers. Kick looking for oh. Ben. Must take a free kick, not oh. paid. Darcy Leishman hacks the kick long. Up towards half forward. Hawkins underneath this one. Couldn't mark it. Jamar. Hand pass to Reed. Reed kicks towards. It's a high flying sort of a kick. Garth underneath it again. Couldn't take it. Ball still on the spew there inside. 50 for the Tigers. They're looking almighty dangerous again. Ball pin will get a ball up. It's Geelong just boots through another couple up by 29 now. What's the score? Drewy, what's their score? 8 56 ah! <laughs> 4 Boy, now. Comes out now. Kicked by Patch. And an end ball looking for Marnie. He's been okay. Hand pass is a good one to Thornton. And he's... Oh, oh, he no. was clearly tripped. I would have thought. He tripped on his own foot. And he's going to pay... What's he paid here? Huh? No. Ball, ball up. Ball up. Oh, yeah. He tripped over yeah, his own he, foot. I think he did. I yeah. think he tripped over his own foot there, but yeah. he, he was Robert, out Robert in the way. just wants to see Jamar have another, yeah. have hey, another hit I out. think, hey, Jay, who plays Fonz? Where's the Fonz? What's his Henry Winkler. Name? Henry Winkler. Yeah. He, Robbo's got a bit of Henry Winkler about him now, <laughs> what Henry Winkler looks like, doesn't he? Yeah, yes, he does. Yeah. So right. it's a leather jacket he's image. got on. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going <laughs> around going, hey, everyone. He's a kick long there. Hawkins <laughs> has a good tackle on McDonald. Ball pin. We'll All right, I'll tell you up. what. There was a guy back in his heyday that acted like the Fonz. It would be Sir David Robertson out there. <laughs> <laughs> that scoreboard's been Your updated. old school teacher, was he? No, swim teacher. He was swim, swim teacher. teacher, yeah. Swimming coach. Jamar's there. Here's a chance now. A kick there by a good kick Slater. that time by Slater and finds Charlie Griss. He's too far out to score on this occasion. And all's oh, running really, really, really hard. It took a really good mark. Plays on, runs to 30. They need this one. They're going to get it. Yes, they do. Mm. That is a super goal by Tom Anor. Keeps the bombers in it. Goal of the contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. See, that's a good goal, that one. He kept his eye on the ball the whole way, right through the air. And, you know, Simpson player was coming, took the mark. He didn't waste any time. But slammed it home from 35 and gives the Bombers right back in it. They're 5-2, 32. 8 3 fit, 51 Simpson, 15 gone third quarter. Greg Allen, Fire Machinery score, but that's Tom Enos first for the afternoon. It's been yeah. this scoreline all it, afternoon, it has. hasn't it? They it's, need it's the, the next goal. goal. Yeah. yeah, they need the next goal. But they're certainly they're playing well enough now that they're transitioning the ball um, up the ground, which we hadn't seen well, earlier in the game. Two goals this quarter, isn't so, it? Yeah, now, so... Uh, if they get the next goal, this is game on. Sun's breaking out of here again at Simpson. A rare occasion to have it a couple of times in a Saturday afternoon in July. Leishman, that was a nice little Cam Munster backwards pass <laughs> then. Say. There was no handball there. <laughs> Neatly disguised. Here's a chance now for Swain. Got it over top to Mitch the Bull Thornton. Hair pass looking for Stevens. Overruns him. Chance here again for Swain. Trying to get it out of this stoppage. As the umpire is just letting it go. Ball and up. now we have a ball up right in front of that scoreboard that could just be lifted an extra <laughs> couple of metres, Brad O. Smith. You're, you're a hard man. I am. Max. It's yeah. a great scoreboard, but scoreboard. just that car's blocking the uh, part of the scoreboard there. So it just needs to be lifted a little bit. Here's a chance for Morrissey. Couldn't take the mark. Finn's got it in the back line. Oh, oh he's got it. He's going to be run down. Oh, guess oh. what that bomber player did? Came behind no him like a librarian. <laughs> Stuck up on like. No. That's, that's their reward back Charlie there. Griss, the number one librarian. No. First, first free kick for the quarter for Irwin. Javita McDonald might be here today <laughs> too. So he sends it inside the Ford 50. It was oh. kicked it like a librarian. Oh, he's gone Here's through. Anderson. This oh. way, that way. He gets out of yeah. three tackles oh. and he's been pinned on the footy, even though he got out of the tackle. <laughs> And Cooper Stevens has got the free kick left forward pocket, Jeez. and this to put the margin to 13 points. It's Dang. been hovering that 19 24 point margin for about good 30 40 minutes now. And this will be the first time the Bombers can get back to back goals. Good hands to add the ball in, too, with uh, Cooper Stevens. Left forward pocket. He oh, goes he doesn't back. like it. He and knew it's right missed away. it. Oh, he he's it. missed it. I've buzzed him. <laughs> it's a clear three goal ball game. Oh, Eight, three. Eight three to five three. Third quarter, 17 minutes gone. Gee, that was an opportunity went begging there. It you do was. Know it. That was a uh, that was a very unlike Cooper Stevens yeah, it type was. shot. It was. So Darcy Leishman to take the ball wing in game at one nine four at senior level. He goes on and goes short and finds his captain in Salmon. He's had a very good game himself. What's his stats, AJ Brad Salmon? Eight three true. Yeah, very solid indeed. Kicks long looking for Jamar. Good punch away, but a free kick will go to him for a hold. 
And Mark Jamer will take the kick at half back flank. Beautiful now. It's four seasons in one day. Oh, it's been about eight. <laughs> I can yeah. feel my tips of my fingers again. There's some good weather coming next week too, but there's going to be some frosty mornings. Ball kicked up towards the wing. De Jong's underneath it. Couldn't quite bring it down. Coming through there, Thornton who started to lift his side. Kicked up the ground by Dexter. He's been he's been solid enough. Here's a chance for Don over to get my back. Good tackle by Hutchison. No. Sling. Come and sling him. Three kick will go to Simpson. That's a third or fourth so one. Simpson just and 50 metres as well. Oh, First one of the day, Pete. Oh, no. That's a costly oh, mistake. Oh, that's a huge mistake. Yeah, huge didn't really mistake. need to do it. And a shot for goal here for Simpson when the Bombers were working their way back into it. But the umpire's already made his decision. What you say is not going to change his mind. So, you know, that's uh, just really poor there. To, um, um... Unless you slip him a 50. Yeah. Oh, gee. <laughs> wow. That's right. A shot for goal here for Simpson. You never would have done that, Pete. Comes in, puts <laughs> it on its way, spare, looks all right at the boot. Goal to Simpson. And I don't have no idea who's kicked it. I think it was Dinehaven, was it, Drew? I think you might be right, AJ. Yeah. It's a goal of the day contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Jonathan, put in your socks, Pete? Did you put things in your socks just for a 20 like a, or something? Like, like a piece of ham well, or something well, like I that. used to slip a few. Uh, I actually used to have coins in me, <laughs> for me, in for me, uh, in me um, socks just in case you get a bit hungry or thirsty and the water boy comes out. You give him a couple of bucks to run to the canteen for you. And, uh, I think Mick Nolan would have done that. And you get, a, you get a couple of dimmies sent out to you during the third yeah. quarter. Just just ask, you're in the Ford pocket and nothing's coming. Hey, just ask Mark Sellers McClure. He ran exactly. into me with oh, Park gee, that day. What? Oh. No, three. 357 yeah. Simpson. Wow. They've got all the answers at the moment, like New York back for yeah, that was costly. The work they've done to get back in the game to cough a goal up like that's disappointing. The Fonz throws the ball up. Here's a chance now for Leishman. He puts it inside the 450 oh. on the chest of Mitchie Wright. Class over center mark of the day. Too, too far, too far out. out for him. He's gonna kick in oh. short and he finds the G train. Good mark. Oh, there's a waft of farm smell coming towards us, Pete. <laughs> oh, you can you smell that? I'm down. I'm downwind, mate. This so is not me. <laughs> this is your deodorant right now, Pete. Oh no! Oh. Up, Pete? <laughs> Someone's unleashed the herd, and the cows have come out, and oh, it's a big wafting smell. Is it something yeah. to do with lucky the across the road? Lucky there's no lawn fans here, because I'd be complaining about it. G train goes oh, back. He's kicked it. it to the right. Yep. It's a behind. Simpson now go to nine four. Irrawarra back, 5-3, 25 points to the margin. They just can't reel in that score, can they? Irrawarra back, can't no. bring it down within that three-goal m- pr- margin. Jeez, got... that stinks. <laughs> Mitch Thornton with the footy. Jeepers. Pete's in his, uh, <laughs> Pete's in his uh, absolute element at the moment. Jeepers. Thornton, Mitch the ball, Thornton, there he is. Fuck he you, kicks the centre half forward, <laughs> comes out to Theodore, hair pass was smothered. Theodore again, Lockie, tries to palm oh. it backwards to go forward. Flanagan got the hair pass out, went straight to Gas. Gas from half back kicks the centre win, overruns it was Dinehoven. Here's a chance now for Hutchinson. Hutchinson now gathers the footy. He, he kicks goes. out of centre half forward, looking for Enor. Enor palms it to himself, just couldn't gather the football. Gristus lurking as well. Inside the forward 50 for the Bombers. The hookway drops the footy. Cooper Stevens, he gathers the football, tackled. Chance again for Enor. Here's a chance there oh. for Anderson. He just wants it. A touch, and it's going to be a ball up. Go on, you Fonzie. He does look like Henry Winkler. I'll tell you, Henry Winkler <laughs> is out there umpiring right now. Uh, Red the Grands in the AFL. Hey. Uh, Barge back to 16 points. It's all like 8 56 lead North Melbourne, 6 4 40. I'll tell you what, he's going to be loving this, Robbo, or he's going to be really hating it. Here's a chance now for Hutchinson. He's kick. Sets it up, but oh. it was a good mm. kick, but it went straight to the Tigers players. And Clark. And Clark is just covered. In that, I don't know if it's the, the manure that was smelling or the mud, <laughs> but he's got the mark, Bo Clark, and he's hey, covered in mud. Oh, no. His kick's not a good one, but it bounces a centimetre mm. perfect, and we have boundary throwing. Still in defensive 50 for the Tigers in the fourth half for could, Irrawarra Biak. Could have been costly if it went another uh, couple of inches there. Like yes. 22 minutes gone, third term here. Simpson by 25 points. So we've been around three or four goals for the majority of the afternoon. Jama took it out of the ruck once again. Kicked away Mom McVilly. Up to centre wing. And all there. Must have been touched off the boot, which it was, according to the umpire. Well spotted. Well done. Mitchie Ray laid a good tackle there. Bullpen will get a ball up here on the centre wing position. Uh, late goal here for Irrawarra back would be very, very handy. Yeah, I know. Jama for a kick. And it'll go... Oh, against him. Hell, it's way. For a shepherd. So... 
Is there opportunity now? Oh, you can't get... He tried to put the arms up and... Sure, you can't get 50 for that. Surely not. So, Josh Howlett will take the free kick on centre wing. 23 minutes about to be ticked on in this third quarter. Thanks to Sports Power. Carlick with the Tigers leading by 25. Kick looking that time for Thorne. Oh, Gee, that's a mark. good mark by Clark. Stood tall and took a class up a centre mark of the day. He gives it up all hand to Neil. Out the four, I would reckon. Oh, umpire's a long way away. Yep, and he's paid the mark. Okay, yep. so Gillingham goes inbound. Oh. Talkins marks it just. We had a good piece of it there, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, wait, we'll watch, have to watch the replay on that. Hawkins kicks long up the line here. J- uh, Jamar and Hale do battle. Here's an opportunity again with Jono. Keeps the ball in play. Ball off hands again. Here they go again. Here's Wright. Kicks long inside 50. Where are the options down there? There's no one there. Stonehouse got a shocking bounce but slipped over. Kicked off the ground that time by Dexter. Out of defence. Works okay to Marnie. Hand pass to Tyler Flanagan. Sweeps the handball out wide to Hoy. He's been superb. Hand pass is good one to Tyler Flanagan through about four Tigers. Mopped up that by by Jaden Rook. He snaps the ball up towards left half forward. Coming through again. Jono and gain 200. Good handball to right. Runs to 45. Goes to the left foot pocket. Gas down. Oh, Siren no, beat him. No, Siren has beat him as he paid the mark. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Yep. No, good and call. And the crowd have gone absolutely eight droppings here at the moment. Yep. <laughs> but it's a good, but uh, the Tigers, like I said, they've had more answers most of the afternoon. And they extend their half-time lead to 25 points. 9-4-58. The Tigers lead the Bombers 5-3-33. Hawkins and Garth have two goals apiece, including a free goal from the boundary. Charlie Griss has booted, th- booted three goals for the Bombers. We'll take a break. Back with the KSC Car- Carlack last quarter after this. Can the Tigers keep their finals votes alive or can the Bombers come overcome a 25-point deficit and ca- cement a step closer to locking in yet another top three finish? Back with more after the break here from Simpson with Simpson 58, you're back 33.
You. Powered by KFC Colac, FSR Equip and Sports Power Colac. This is CDFNL Live. Yeah, welcome back to Bombers who control of the A-grade Never Lab on 19 at three-quarter time, 41 to 22. Better in the footy and upset brewing. Simpson a step closer to keeping their series of finals hopes alive. They're up by 25 points at three-quarter uh, three time. 9 4 58 lead the Aurora Bay outside of 5 3 33. Simply the Tigers have just had the answers pretty much from the word go. We'll go around the ground shortly. Steph Cobb's that day. Jade's all about Mark Jamar this afternoon. Oh, spot on, mate. Simpson, 16 free kicks so far, 13 to the Aurora <laughs> Bay. Mark Jamar on 41 hit outs, so I don't think he'll get the CDFNL live record. I'd be shocked if he did. But uh, as far as the stat, uh, stats for him go, 15 kicks, 10 handballs, 3 marks, 25, Pete. Big stats oh, for a ruckman, isn't unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. Uh, apart from him, 18 also to De Jong, 10 kicks, 8 handballs, and 1 mark, 2 3 quarter time on the Bombers side of things. Uh, 15 so far to William Hoy, 6 kicks, 9 handballs, and a couple of marks. Been really good. 15 also to Cooper Stevens, who's coming to the game after a quiet first quarter. 9 kicks, 6 handballs, 1 mark. Those letting stats winners on the ground. Thanks to Steph Cobb to three quarter time. Around the grounds, thanks to Think Water and Hand to Lake Cobb the night 7.55. Lake Camperdown 5 2 32. Suffer Camperdown. <laughs> uh, long way to go yet. Uh, in the CDFNL, uh, LB 11 16 82. Without Dom Dare to lead the Western Eagles 2 3 15. Uh, Lawn 13 11 89. Lead Lawn 4 4. Uh, Polar Bay, sorry, 4 4 28. South Carlake 8 6 54. Lead Otway 6 4 40. And the Carlick Imperials doing pretty much what they, everyone expected to do. They're up by 40 points over Bury. They're 9 10 64. The 3 6 24. It's game on at Bloodstone Arena. Uh, Jolonga just kicked the goal uh, just before, courtesy of Tyson Stengel. They're up by 16 points. The Cats, they're 9 8 62. So the Kangaroos, 7 4 46. We'll go around the grand in the Abbey League shortly because uh, St Albans are doing a serious number on oh, Newtown gee. and Chewell. Wow. Not 51 to 15. <sighs> so uh, Newtown and Chewell. Are Staggering. In- the first win for St. Albans in a while, Drew. First win over Newtown for a very, very long yeah. time. Yeah. When was their last win? Uh, I think it was... Did they win uh, it probably the same day Essendon won a final, AJ. So, yeah. I think they did win a game New, earlier in the Newtown year. Newtown pay for their footy trip today. Oh, <laughs> so I saw it go. So, <laughs> see people there as on fire today. 25 points is the Tigers' lead as they kickstart the KSC car like last quarter. Here's an opportunity for Ryan. Hand pass to Sabin. Could that be the first of the final term? Go! Oh! Has taken an unbelievable mark. How about that? <laughs> he just put the left mid out against Stonehouse and it just stuck to his hands. That was incredible. Yeah, it was sort of like a bit of a miss kick from Sam and it never what? got any height on the ball at all and it just stuck in his in his one hand. Jared Garth for goal number three and puts the Tigers 31 points in front and he absolutely loves it. <laughs> goal of the day contender and the Tigers look home. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Jeez, didn't he love it? It's oh. Tiger time, Drewy. They're back in town. 10 oh. 64. 31 point letters in the back. 5 3 33. I'm calling it Pete. Simpson oh. at home. Oh, yeah. oh, Jamie, they tough work here. Oh. Look, they exploded out of the blocks and they've had the answers all day, haven't they? They've so that's kept now that margin pretty simple. Three similar. goals they've kicked in the opening 30 three seconds, seconds of, of each game. First quarter, yes, third, third quarter, and the last quarter. Yep. But. Uh, yeah, look, that was a <laughs> magnificent mark there from... It's a hot and spicy yeah. KFC he's, call. He's, like he's, he's, he's replaying it out here now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's got his hand in the air. He's telling Whopper, I just I just stuck it up like that and it just stuck there. He's still pointing <laughs> it. Oh, he's pretty funny. happy with that one. Oh, he's oh, the old G mate? train. He's missed a bit of footy over the last month. Actually, I reckon the last game we, he's played was against Elvi out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, did his so, hamstring, did his he? hamstring, yeah. So back out there and kicking bags again. Here come the Tigers. I just don't have an ju- answer to Jay Martin. The, only, the, the only thing is that Imps and South are going to win today and they're going to stay in that sixth well, spot. that's the but thing, isn't it, Max? Yeah. Well, they have yeah. a huge... Their next game is next round, but they do have the buy in part one of round 16. And they got South They got Colac. South Colac in the which part is, two. So that's going to be a huge game as Jay kicks it forward. Is a chance for De Jong... Dion now gets the hair pass over the top to Leishy. Leishy puts it inside the Ford 50. Gort, though, he got the mitts out and takes a good class half a centre marker the day for Irrawarra back. He kicks out of defence looking for Enor. Enor, he's had some party tricks today. Louis Donhoven's under his uh, hammer and it's gone out of bounds. Boundary throwing right in front of A13, who are, uh, tell you what, the crowd's getting up and about now. Yeah, if the, you look fi- at the fire's roaring, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tell you what, that third, this third spot's still pretty much locked, locked in and sewn up, too, given the results today at the moment, the way it's heading. Yeah, opens up the door for South and Imps and potentially Simpson to finish in that top yeah. three as well. And yeah, we'll have a look at your Aurora run home, too, because I don't think it's an easy one either. 
Apply throws it back into play. They've got probably the bottom sides, but uh, they've got South in round 17. It's the ball kick forward for Irrawarra back now. Chancy now for Darcy Leishman. Got the hand pass over the top now to Clark, who just thumps the ball to centre half forward. Harding couldn't take the mark. Oh. Hawkins, it beats everyone. Here's a chance for Jono. Kick one in your 200, son. Here's a chance for the G-Train. Gullison. Oh. Oh. oh, he's on fire. Oh. The G-Train. <laughs> he's he oh. stuck oh. that right up, yo. He says. <laughs> oh, Didn't he love it? Oh, oh he's kicked he's his four. Fire. And Simpson are on fire here. They've started this last quarter like a house on fire and they lead by a game high, 37 points, 11 4 70 to 5 3 33. And we've gone three and a half in this KFC Colac last quarter. Big Stonehouse can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> he dead set can't believe it. <laughs> so if the uh, third quarter had been uh, five seconds longer, he probably would have had three in three minutes. But, um, probably would, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no. But it's not your day, Pet. It's yeah, just not your day, is right. it? Yeah, yeah, no. It's, uh, gee, they've got some big bodies up there yeah, in that forward line when do. the ball comes down in conditions like this. You know, John O'Jennings, Hawkins, um, Garth, uh, Whopper. Yep. Yeah, very, very Jesus, powerful. Jesus, Joey Katz have just gone wild like oh, Simpson at Hobart oh. in the back end of that third quarter. Yeah, they haven't. They're washed. 11 8 to 7 6. Yeah, they're wow. Yeah, they're indeed. What are you worried about, Pete? Oh. <laughs> oh, they're not yeah, chirpy. No. Do you think I was worried? <laughs> oh, you are, you're getting excited at the game. Oh, jeez. 34, <laughs> goals, 34 goals for the season uh, for Jared Garth today. He's missed a fair bit of footy. We'll get a ball up here in the still in the second. Well, of the ground. look at the goal kicking list, the top ten, and Simpson have two, two. in the top three or top four. Yeah, um, Charlie Griss is third. Yeah, you got the one. best duo, don't they? Whopper and Garth, and they're sitting six. So it shows you they can have a bit of damage in the finals if they make it. McBilly's kick was smothered. Coming through again, Swain. He's battled his backside off all day. Here's Tom Leishman. Just hacks the kick out towards centre half for McDonald in front. Still got a free kick. Umpire wanted none of it. Here's Richardson. He's been quiet. Coming through Hawkins, ball pinned to him. We'll get a ball up. Right, who's chain lifting John o. Jennings off today? <laughs> Jamar. Oh, that oh. might be a little bit I'll, too high. I'll go Tom okay. Leishman and I'll go Brad Salmon. I reckon he might be right with one. I reckon uh, Salmon might be one. I don't yeah. know if Leishy would do yeah. that. Here's, here's a Maybe Darcy Leishman. McDonald just got the kick away just. Here's the centre half forward. Here's a chance for McVilly. Says to Garth again. Couldn't quite take the mark. Good, good tackle, but got rid of it somehow to Stonehouse. Stonehouse is kick out there. What's the outer side of the ground? It's it's a risky sort of a ball, but it's going to be a boundary throw in. It's a bit of a worry now for Cam Parker, Pete, because this is mm, two out of the it. last three losses. They went down to Lawn and got hammered against them. They came back and had a good solid win in the mud against Otway last week. And then today against another sort of side that's hovering around the finals, they haven't really given a shot, have they? They've been completely outplayed but today. They have. And the worrying part about today, they've lost to their strength, which is their midfield. Yeah. They've been beaten in the midfield today. Good, good solid hip and shoulder there. And that's an opportunity for De Jong to run over it, but he ran out of tarmac. We get a boundary throw in. 50 five metres around from Simpson's goal. We've done all the attacking for pretty much the majority of the afternoon as a, a magpie and a, cr- a couple of crows having a fight on the boundary line. <laughs> <laughs> this, it is swooping sweet season coming up shortly. Magpie would have just won by a millimetre because <laughs> they seem to do that in the oh, AFL, okay. Here's a chance for McVilly. Not this year, though. Kick inside 50. Not great for Harding. <laughs> Mark taken by Gordon. He wants to play on here for Tommy and all. He's worked his backside off this afternoon. Probably been one of the better players there. He's killing him. Doing oh. a good, mighty good job. Well done, Gillingham. His Enor was away. And there's not many players in the CDFL could, that could run uh, Tommy Enor down no. when he's uh, on the run like that. Just when it's been the story of. The day. It's been a good battle between those two all day. It has indeed. Boundary throw in here to take place between on centre wing here. Simpson, 37 point leaders, and they've had control for pretty much the word go. 11 4 to 5 3. Jamar out of the ruck again. Hand pass missed everybody. Stanard. Breaks Oops. a couple of tackles. Hand pass back to Enor. He's got himself an almighty mess. He got a hand pass away to Swain. He did well. Hand pass back to Thornton to Hoy. He's been really, really good. Kicks long inside 50. Jackson's had really a no-hope down there. He's got a chance here to mop up, which he can't. Here's a chance for Jackson. No, he's got three to beat. Picked up by Stevens, who's been very, very quiet. Good no. kick and a good mark. No, not paid to Morris. Gris should have been paid. Here's a kick off the ground. Here's an opportunity for the Bombers. And it's a goal to Patty Marnie. He kicks his second. Jeez, they worked hard for Did- that. Didn't they? Goal of the day contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Gee, the works of goals have been very, very hard to come by for the Bombers. Paddy Money kicks his second goal in their first of the final term. They go to 6 3 39. 
They tried by 31. Simpson, 11 4 70. We played seven and a half minutes in this KFC Cullock last quarter. So, in that passage of play, uh, Irrawarra back would have had six possessions, and every one of them was under huge pressure. Yeah. And that's typical of the way the game's been played today. Simpson have really brought that uh, pressure today, and uh, they've been rewarded for it. Even when there's no pressure, Pete, the inferred yes, pressure. Yes, that's right, because they've, they've been so in their face all day that uh, that worries them into uh, making a mistake. Around the ground, thanks to Think Order, Otway 6440, South Colac, wait for it, 8.856. <laughs> so they lead by 16 points through, so the top three and the top five gates are opening not, up again. Not wrong. As we enter the last three rounds of the season, Simpson good leading mark. by 31 here. Goodness. It was a good mark there by Reed. In the Cobden jumper. Kicks short and finds <laughs> Salmon. Salmon kicks. Looking for teammate Whopper Harding or Cheeseburger. Oh, or oh, Harding. Got it to Gas. Who's tackled in the middle of the ground. It'll be another ball up. Uh, another one here, Maxie, in the GFL. St. Joseph's at 8 8 56. <laughs> Lead South Barwon. 6 5 41. St. Albans up by 30 points on Newtown and Jewel. 51 to 21. Colac play Leopold tomorrow at the Central. Home of your soccer. Nation in Colac. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see. So what time's that start, Max? Oh, what, okay. what time have I got to do, Max? Here's Jaden Rook. Sends it inside the Ford 50. Here's a sneaky chance here for Mitchie Wright. If he can pick it up. Oh! oh he does. He gets the hand pass out and he gets stacked in the process. <laughs> Gort picks up the football. <laughs> he sends the ball He's pretty happy about it, too. I think he's basically <laughs> giving Jeff over the fence. He might, be get, he might be on current affair for that one. <laughs> Here's a chance here for well, Rook. Jamer. He's oh, kicked well. straight to Mark Jamar, who sends the ball in. Inside the Ford 50. Kick Bouncing the ball. It's going to be a free kick to guard. Mm. The G train. He's going to go back and kick a bag of five. He's making a charge for the East Oaktail player oh. of the game, boys. He's making a oh, charge. So, Jamar, top of the goal square, should kick his fifth and give the Tigers back a 37 point lead. So, that was well set up by Jamar. He just put that short, high kick in and. Uh, like he was kicking the, it to Matthew Lloyd. Exactly. The, Defenders just oh, he and loves G train. He kicks it and he loves a goal celebration, Bloody doesn't he? What? I tell you what, we had a bloke uh, used to love celebrating the goals down here. He's still playing, but he's tamed himself a little bit. And that's John O. Jennings, the number one goal celebrator in uh, the CDFNL history. But Jared Garth has taken his measure. Twelve four seventy six Simpson. J- uh, Jared Garth with his fifth, <laughs> and Irrawarra back six three thirty nine. Bitch, right? Still going on about it on the bed. <laughs> he's still going on about it. <laughs> To Matty Drain. <laughs> oh, gee. Uh, Those two are trouble back in the school days, put it that way. <laughs> Ten and a half gone, KFC Colac last quarter. Uh, get, I'll, I'll go with the runner. I'd put John o. Jennings in the goal square. Get him a goal, Drain. Yep, he deserves one and he's going to. I don't tell you what, if he does, whatever that uh, social room's there it's here at Simpson, I don't think there'll be much left. Here's a chance for Salmon again. Kicks inside 50, but underneath it, Slater takes it. A really nice intercept mark. Class over centre mark of the day. He's at the big job on Jay Martis after, and his kick goes looking for Flanagan. It's well punched away. Anderson plays some good pressure on this occasion. Here's Slater. Oh, he did an old-fashioned pirouette there. Gordon had a fresh air shot, likewise. Ball on the 50. Richardson. Chipping ball's okay. Not the 15 required. He receives a 1-2 there from Flanagan. Chipping ball to the wing. Stan out and Darcy Leishman do battle. Well played, Darcy Leishman. He's been really good again today, and he lays a good oh, tackle good on Stan That should be a ball up. Good call there from Craig Kerr. Of course, he and, and, the, and the, the family bought a house today in Carl, like I did see on the social media this morning. So next goal, we'll put his house on it. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, what are you trying to say, AJ? <laughs> oh, Jamar, so easy. Jamar did it easy. Kick looking for Hawkins. He's kicked a couple of really good goals today. He rose eyes from McDonald. Well played there, Lockie Hawkins. Snapping ball inside 50. No in front of it there. Slade. Oh! G-Tray! Oh! G-Tray oh! was after him and nearly got him. Here's a chance for Marnie. To Stevens, he's been very, very quiet, which is unusual for him. Kick looking for Hoy. He's certainly been very, very good today too. Probably been one of their best players. Probably the best two or three for them today. Hand pass to Stevens. He ran hard. Has a bounce. Runs to 60. He's going too far. He darn pilots and get away with it. Here's a chance for Mitch Ball Thornton. Strolls to 35. Kicks and goals. Great goal there by Mitch Thornton. He deserves a goal. He's been very, very good in the second half. Goal that they contend and they got their seventh. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. He's rarely worked himself into the game in the second half as Mitch Thornton. He's been really good for him today, but 
To no avail, because Simpson are going to win this one. And the Bombers move to 7 3 45 to the Tigers, 12 4 76. 12 and a half gone in this KSC Cullock last quarter. Greg Allen, far machinery scoreboard. Pete, if I was a Simpson, I was Daniel Beard, I'll get the runner out said. Clear the end yeah, for John Jennings. let him get a goal. But uh, look, uh, Irrawarra back just haven't been able to put those sort of passages of the play together throughout the no, day. No, I haven't and been allowed to, Pete. No, so uh, too little, too late at the moment. So uh, Cobden, 31 points up at uh, three-quarter time there, Drewy. Around the ground scores, thanks to Peter Lucas. Oh, <laughs> yes. Pete Lucas. Uh, might be from Linda Lucas. Oh, is it Linda? Oh, yeah. oh sorry, I thought Pete. Good afternoon yeah. to Linda. Uh, Pete, Pete just bags me out. Uh, I thought he was after a job. <laughs> <laughs> around the ground reporter of City for Now Live. Yeah, Here's a chance for Reed, who sends the ball. Oh, we've got uh, the Hardings and the Hawkins walking past us at the moment. <laughs> Here's, a, here's Whopper Harding. He kicks, finds Jamar. Jono's on. Jono's on. Jamar is going to go back and have a crack here. Surely he does. He's on the 50. No, he's going to do the team thing. Looking for Jono. that G train. Oh. G train couldn't take the mark. Ball working. Here's a chance for Dinehoven. Give it to Gets him. Oh. One, snaps around the body, and Dinehoven has kicked her behind. We had Jono Jennings on the outside. He had him on too. So Simpson now go to Twy five seventy seven Sunset Strip to uh, <laughs> seven three forty five thirty two points to the margin. It's hookways mark the kick in. Yeah, oh, oh it's, it's going to be advantage back. play to De Jong. Oh, De Jong kicks it, it straight in the hands of Stonehouse, who kicks out a defensive fifty. Leishman picks up the football, Leishy like gets the hand pass over the top to Clark. Clark now kicks, bouncing ball. Here's Whopper. He's oh, had a quiet oh. day. He's kicked looking for Lockie Hawkins. I tell you oh, what, here he's here's a chance Hoven. now for uh, Louis Dinehoven. Oh, go, he's going to set it up to Garth. Jamar. Oh, Jamar. Oh, Jamar. Got it over top of the G-train, and he kicks the goal. How good was that? Tiger time here at Simpson. Goal of the contender. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. What a beautiful kick there by Louis Dinehoven. The setup, up Jamar, who did two team things in that passage yeah, of play yeah, yeah. where he could have roosted and kicked goals. He got it to the yeah. G-train he's got and six. he's got his sixth. He's got four, and, four he, he goals. He took the mark at the top of the goal square and said, I've done enough today. I don't yep. need to kick a goal. Yeah, that's he, right. You have another one. Uh, <laughs> too many fantasy <laughs> points. 13-5, 83. Simpson, it's a game-high 38-point lead. Here are back, 7-3, 45. KFC, Colac. Last quarter, we've gone 15 minutes on the Richardson Real Estate time clock here on Mix FM. Been an impressive display today mm. from Simpson. They uh, really throw the uh, the warning signs out to a few to sides absolutely. in that top five. Oh, mm. absolutely. Yeah, can call oh. How, how juicy is that game against South Carolina? Oh, mm. Drewy, we're going to be there. Absolutely. That's oh. it, I think, for the mental health. So is that yes, at is. South or yes, is it South? South. Yeah. 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 Okay. I hope the ground's in well, better Tommy Nick McCain's than... out. He's out for yeah, the year, so he's going to look after that ground now. Be mowing it, Pete. Yeah. I don't know if you can mow it, AJ, mate. Did you see it last week? Would you put it on that, mate? Back. In the middle here, Jamar. Maybe a tractor. <laughs> One attack, boy, over the top of the football. He dived on it and gone. You can tell AJ does a lot of hard work <laughs> in the backyard. Free kick will go to the captain. <laughs> <laughs> captain McSabin will take the free kick here. Jono's on on the 50 here. Kick it to him, Brad. Kick it to him. Oh, he's, oh, he's slowing things he's down. Besides, and the kick is going to go to him. Oh. Oh. down underneath it. Takes the mark. 45 out directly in front. Where's John o Drew? Hey, he's not going to get it. No, uh, Whopper's within kicking distance yeah, here. Yeah, well, Jared Garthy's got uh, six. Whopper's only got the hang one. Hang on, today. hang on. He's played on. Oh. 50 metres out. Whopper goes bang for a behind. Oh. <laughs> Hungry. Oh. One goal, two. <laughs> and they go to 13-6. Play 7 3. He's kicked one goal, two so far. They haven't needed him because Garth has done all the damage. As McDonald kicks along up the line, up towards the 50. Harding gets the ball again. Hamble's 25 metre backwards to Tom Leishman through traffic. He's been really good again today. Thumps to kick long. Garth's got two to beat. Got there. So could take the mark. Here's a chance oh. for Reid. Number one coming oh. over the Tigers. They're on fire here at the moment. Goal of the day contender. Simpsons finals hunts are well and truly alive. A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. That's the first non-Jared Jared Garth goal for the final term and have slammed on five of, four, four of them and Mitch Reid's kicked his first for the quarter and his second for the game. That takes him on the 14-690. This is turning into a bit of a flogging. You're about 7 three forty-five. 
But we played nearly 17 minutes in this KC Carlac last quarter. That's on the Greg Allen Farm Machinery scoreboard. Pete, this is the Simpson score we've been waiting yeah, to see is. all year. Yeah, so we talked the last time that we they had no dangerous small forwards and Reed's played yeah. that role today and he's done it fairly well. We've got Drayton that's still sitting on the sidelines, can come back in. Yeah, for um, Mitch, it. Mitchie Wright. So, so back yeah, in the middle, Jamer, and that's just the additive Bo Clark coming back in the side, Pete. Yeah, They're able to put right. Mitchie, Clark, Mitchie Reed down yeah. in that... Uh, Four to fifty is the chance now for Thornton on centre wing. He's got the football now. He's side trailing by forty five points. The dominance of Simpson this full quarter game. This is probably sums up the scoreboard now, haven't they? They, they, haven't, yeah. had too, they haven't had too many of them this year, Simpson. So. They haven't been able to put Irawarra back away, away until now. They've dominated the game. Always sort of just been hung in, and now she's off. Simpson time is now. Howlett, uh, sorry, Richardson kicks the centre half forward. And he finds McDonald. Got the hand pass over the top now. Patch. Patch with the football. Thumping kick. Hookway almost marked it on the goal line in defence. And we a ball up in the left forward pocket. Gee, I think Cam Parker will not be impressed with this performance Was today. it? Yeah, two out of their last three games since yeah. Yeah. returning from the bye being big losses against some good sides. Kicked off the ground. I reckon it's a goal coming up. I it's a it's goal, goal coming up. I've got no idea. Yeah, not sure, but not no, much no, celebration. It was Chris there. that kicked yeah. it, maybe. I he might be right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, well, right. He's gone to get the ball. So, it is. Well, we'll go with that. He's kicked the goal. There wasn't much to flow. High fives already. Then 8 three fifty one here or back. Simpson, 14 6 90. That is on the Greg Allen Farm Machinery scoreboard. 18 minutes gone in this KFC Colac last quarter. Eight so, goals in 18 minutes, Pete. And yeah. 19 minutes. So the thing with this result is it's really uh, uh, thrown open the double chance to um, Absolutely. to other teams to uh, come in and swoop away. You're a uh, back. Looked like they had it locked up a long way out from home. but Cats by 29 points. Uh, Much better than what it was earlier in the year, about 70 odd. 81 points. to 52. Scores around the grounds thanks to Sarah Coletta. Uh, and, and around the grounds <laughs> and in think the city of NL. And think water. Thank you, AJ. LV comfortably over Western Eagles. Lawn comfortably over Apollo Bay. South Colour are doing enough against Otway Six and Birigara. 3 6 24. Defeated by Ips. 11 11 77. Oh, oh, Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> they won by 53 points there at the Western Oval. Back in the middle. Here go the Tigers again through Salmon. Beautiful oh. kick. And finds Harding on the way. Uncontested, pretty much. How good's their clearance work? Oh, yeah, it's been outstanding center. today. It's they're, a clinic. And their kicking inside 50 has been good too, hasn't it? Like you see here that uh, Whopper's lining up dead in front. You know, that's where the leading path this was. is a dead set yeah. clinic. And this is an era or a bag. Star Stud and Midfield have been taken to the absolute cleanest today. So Nick Harding for goal number two from 30 metres out. Can he convert? Didn't oh, like it. He hasn't got the kicker beats on today, one, Whopper. One goal three for Nick Harding this afternoon. That takes him on the 14-7 to throw, eight goals three. Kick in by Gort. Finds Thor- Hutchison. Hutchison and Thornton. They do look like they do, don't they? They kick Richardson there. Good punch away that time there, but Richardson mops up. Handballs to Tyler Flanagan. Flanagan's kick wasn't great. Morrissey's had one of those two quiet days, but he's not the only one for the Bombers' forward line point of view. He's been quiet. Ball pin will get a ball. You're all about just got to keep playing, Charlie Morrissey. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he's, he, he's kicked some good bags against the lower clubs. He just needs, and it's similar to, the, you know, how Whopper started his career, yep. doing the same thing. you just got to play him against these good sides. Yeah, look, you can see he's going to be a good player. Yeah, so oh, of course. Just, uh, he's no, just... He's going to have to grow into his consistency. Kick long by Jamer. That's a beautiful kick. And finds Lockie Hawkins. He set the game up with two first quarter goals. Goes back in board and finds Riley McVilly. Of course, the, na- the McVilly name synonymous with the Simpson Football Netball Club. Another one with the name synonymous as well. This is Hawkins. Good to see. I love his socks oh! pulled up today, kick, Lockie Hawkins. Helicopter sort of a punt, uh, punt kick, but it was well defended by Stevens well, there. Lockie on got Cook the Blake. long sleeves, the socks pulled up. Just a traditional old school footballer, yeah. eh? Yeah. Like you used to be, Maxie? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Except yeah. well, to be about uh, 18 inches shorter. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. He's, he's got about two metres on me, though. <laughs> Van <Bandary> throwing. <laughs> Is this the advantage, though, of Mark Jamar playing back-to-back Absolutely. games, isn't it? Yep. Absolutely. Getting used to our league. Yep. And Jamar. Yeah, look at him now, just tapping it. And he just got a kick away, but didn't go very far. Reed, well done through traffic. He wants Jono. Here he is here. Oh. Goldman still couldn't take the mark. He's sniffing a goal, Jono. Jono, he's got Jono. a goal. Jono, Can he go? Oh, oh, yes. yes. Jono. Go <laughs> over on the social region at Simpson. There will not be any left. We've been waiting for a while. Jono Jennings has kicked the goal at a contender. <laughs> 
A West Vic Sheds and Garages goal of the day. Well, well done, John O'Jennings in his 200th game. And he kicks a terrific goal. It's been the story of our afternoon. Simpson, 15-7-97. They lead Aurora back, 8-3-51. Margin, 46 points. 22 got in this oh. KSC Colac last And quarter. he celebrated. <laughs> he celebrated. The number one celebrated in the CDFNL. Oh. He deserved that goal, though. Look, he started that, this game in the first 10 minutes. He really set the scene for Simpson, didn't he? He did, His attack yeah. on the ball, and he was number lively. He was up and about. Peak. Yes, he was up and about early, and... Um, Really fired Simpson up, so well deserved. Once saw him do a handstand kick in the goal, celebrating <laughs> the goal. Is that before or after he kicked it? Oh no, I reckon it was during. <laughs> was that was that a grand final? Or something? Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. We're just a regular Stephen game. They're probably seven goals down. See, at the top. New Tennant Hill, two thirteen against St Albans. St Albans eight mm. uh, eight three fifty one. Best Stephen game of the year. Yeah, yeah. Well, the there you go, Drew. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. 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 <laughs> it's for people that need to know how to spell the name Brown. Geez, so long we could put the foot down and over that by 41 now over North Melbourne. Oh, we're flag contenders again. Oh, <laughs> oh here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's the seesawing footy. I'll probably lose yeah, to Adelaide and Geelong flag, next week. How's Flag Mantle going, Drew? Oh, yeah. Flag Mantle? They played a derby tonight. Flag Long, AJ. Flag oh. Long. Here's a chest down for Hutchinson. It's all right, Spoonman. <laughs> Kicks this n and all now, you'll be cooking everyone's soup next year, Pete. Ball <laughs> kick now, looking for Gris. Couldn't take the mark. Here's a chance now for Morrissey. Well Morrissey, done. though, he's going to sit. Good oh, kick. Yeah, good, good kick. kick. Well he done. finds the Marnie man, Tyler Flanagan. He'll take the mark. He'll have a shot for goal directly in front, about 50 metres out. He's not going to go for goal. He's going to go to the left forward pocket. Back to good towards. Mark. Yeah, good hands. Good mark. Gris, or is it Morrissey? It's Chris. Chris. Uh, yeah, Chris is taking the mark. Uh, I think it's Morrissey. No, oh, is it Morrissey? Tough kick from here. Are you right? It is Morrissey. Morrissey. Deep in the forward pocket there, right up against the boundary almost. you just got to keep persistent with him. He's an 18, 19-year-old kid. Yep. Still learning the senior grapes of it. Uh, we yeah, seen him look good. I want to think once he gets everything we'll kick wrong. Kick five on debut. Yeah, yep. seniors kick, against Berry back kick, in round one. Kick five against the Polo Bay team. He were going pretty well at the time as well. So. so Charlie Morrissey left forward pocket, kicking it almost into the interchange rooms. Here at Simpson, those awesome interchange rooms. He goes back. And it's not going to oh, get a score, but it's going to be marked. Nah, for it's gone through yeah. for a behind. Eight goals, 4.52. Irrawarra back. 15.797. Simpson, it's a 45-point lead to the Tigers. Yeah, that's their first blemish in the last quarter as well. It's been nine goals kicked in the last quarter, which you would have thought going into today would have been hard work and probably would have got the total goals for the game. But it's actually been an insane, a dominant performance by the Simpson Footy Club, who are... Got their season on the line, and they're played like that this afternoon. Here's Flanagan through traffic there. Left foot kick inside, 50, not a great kick for Morrissey, but well what trapped by Finn. Up. Their defence has been out and short of outstanding today. That's a good kick, and finds Jaden Rook. Good to see him back in his third senior game back. Of course, his brother Grady doing some good things at Cobden as well. Here's Salmon. Goes towards the half foot. Here's John O'Jennings, 60 metres out. He kicked a ripper before. The crowd wanted to go. Oh, Jono! He gets around the 60. Goes inside 50. Oh, great kick again. to Harding. He marks it 35 metres out. I, uh, speaking about Jaden Rook, I saw his mum Sally having to leave at half time yeah. to go to Cobden to watch young Grady. Having a very good season. Again, Life too. of a mum oh. that has two kids playing at two different clubs. Well, he could always come back and coach Simpson next year. Grady. Ooh. 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 There you go. Ooh. Scoops, Molera. <laughs> Scoops. Scooper. Think Sally could stay here all day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. hit the ton from 35. <laughs> Stretches off to the right. It's not going to make the distance, but Swain comes in and takes an easy intercept mark. Siren just seconds away as he goes short and finds Patch. Goes further in board. It's okay to mine. He's kicked a couple of goals. He goes back in board to Grist, who's playing up at a half-back roll at the moment, would you believe it or not? Kick out wide for Stevens. He takes the mark. He quickly plays on. Kicks long up towards half forward. Morris is on a hard surging lead. Good grab, young fella. Takes a class half a set of marker today. He worked very, very hard to get there. So that's more like an Irrawarra Biak passage of play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. just have not been able to put them together today. Yeah, and Morris, he's about 60 metres out. He's going to go backwards to Hutchison. Oh. Gee whiz, he's, putting, he's got plenty of time though, Pete, so he's got time to pick it up. And they've gone back to centre wing. Goes back to Stonehouse. Back by hand to Hutchison. Hutchison drives to kick long to about 25 out. Oh, underneath at that time, good mark by Darcy Leishman. Class half a centre mark of the day. He's that's been, been good the, today that's too, been Darcy, the tail of the two teams this afternoon. Simpson's been very impressive. New Aurora back have been disappointing. 
Simpson are playing like a side who will keep their finals hopes alive. And certainly this helps. And the mark being taken there by Dinehoven. And he's going to happy to tie, milk the clock a little bit here. That was one thing with their grand final year, Pete, Irrawarra back a couple of years ago, was they had players, every player could play dual position. Yeah, they were that very was their, flexible. Yeah, time, they were. They? Like yeah. Chase Murray was in the forward line, but next thing he was in the back pocket. Lavar's back pocket went to the forward pocket. Midfielders were going everywhere. You just feel like this side is very stagnant. Yep. Yeah. And, and they're stuck in their positions. And that's that was their strength a couple of years ago. But now... They're just sort of stuck in their own, their own oh, roles, the same roles. Gas yep. like Superman, tried to grab a ball, couldn't take it, and he's going to be pinned holding the footy. Even like Tommy Jackson at times was playing down back yeah, and Gort played right. forward. Yep. Just yep. things like that. It just They feel like they're very stagnant in the positions again. Tyler Flanagan quickly plays on, kicks long, and there it is. Simpson keep their finals hopes alive in 2024. And the top three, the third spot, that all-important double-chance position, as the battle there is well and truly on with three rounds to go in season 20, 24. But Simpson were nothing short of impressive pretty much from the word go. And they've scored a commanding victory over Irwara B8, 15-7-97 to the Bombers, 8-4-52. Leading goal kickers, Jared Garvey finished with six, including four in the final term. Two goals to Hawkins, two goals to Reed, singles to Harding, Nick Dinehoven, Louis Dinehoven and Mitchie Wright. He kicked a, didn't kick a goal before uh, this year before today. Goal kickers for the Bombers. Grist had kicked four. Marnie with two. Singles to Thornton and Uno. And that was a side, Pete. They were playing for their season and they were very, very impressive today with three rounds left. They're right back in the hunt for a they, finals berth. They played like a team that was playing for their season today. They just uh, burst out of the blocks. They hit the scoreboard early and um, put that margin in. Controlled the game. And as we said at half time, we sort of felt like the margin should have been somewhere where it's ended up. Yeah. And uh, that, that, that scoreboard at the end of the, the day is probably pretty reflective of the game that we've seen out there on the ground. But uh, Jamar, Garth, uh, Dinehoven, uh, Salmon, Leishman, yeah, they just had so many good players today. Um, did, yeah. yeah, so I thought it was a pretty com- comprehensive um, uh, win from um, Simpson. And I think the alarm bells might be san- sounding out yes. here a while back. They, and, and- not only them, but South Colac and some yeah. of these other clubs that, that might have to face Simpson in a final, yes. especially a cutthroat final, Pete. Yep. It's going to be interesting times, Droy. Yes, yeah. indeed. We'll quickly go around the grounds before we take a break. A couple of final, uh, final scores to mention. South Colac, 8 11 59, had defeated Otway District, 6 4 40. Colac Imperials, 11 11 77, defeated Birigara, 3 6 24. Lawn, 18 13 121, to Apollo Bay, 7 7 49. And LV, 12 16 88, they defeated the Western Eagles, 3 3 21. Well, here it was a 45 point win to Simpson, 15 7 97. Defeating Irwara Bag, 8 4 52. We'll take a break back with the East Hotel post game show. We'll get the player of the game. We'll try and get some netball scores as well. Footy netball scoreboard as they're going to carry off John Jennings. In fact, it's Nick Harding, and I can't see who the other one is. Another tall player, anyway. Lock, Lockie Zach Hawkins. Anderson. Oh, I think Zach it is. Anderson. Yeah, is so, it? so both two carried off, and well done to both clubs. Simpson and Irwara Bag, of course. Great show of respect between both these clubs. John Jennings, of course, a much loved figure, not only Simpson, but in the Colac and District Football Netball. 